Come on, you shiny based bitch. Get over here. You based those? Hey, that looks like a Kyle. Thanks for the follow, buddy. Uh, okay, so, Tyler, we're going to walk through your Death Guard list. Uh, if anybody has any issues hearing, let us know so I can adjust mic volumes and such. Uh, we are starting with Mortarion. Walk us through what you have on Mortarion. Um, he is the Warlord. Uh, there, he think he pretty much has a... Actually, I don't even know what he has. <laughs> I don't really remember everything on this army yet, so give me one second. Well, you didn't get to play him last time, so... Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> he just poofed. But I don't have quite the firepower I did last time. Either, true, true, so. true, 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 true. Alright, so Mortarion, while you're digging that up, I'm just going to walk you through what's on him. He's got Revoltingly Resilient, Gift of Contagion, Living Plague, Arch Contaminator, Gift of Plagues. Uh, which one is the optional stuff for him? The optional stuff? Um... The lantern. Yeah, the lantern and the um, no, the nothing's on him is optional. Can you hear me now, Kyle? I think uh, I got that fixed already. Uh, I think my mic was muted. Yep, there we go. Perfect. So, uh, so he's got the lantern, which is his. Is that a warlord trait or is that his relic? That's his just gun. Yep, his gun. And, and uh, uh, what warlord traits does he have? Uh, the. Faction, like the uh, Contagion Warlord trait for the beginning of the battle, um, I was going to go ahead and choose... Which one was I going to take? Uh, what was it? What was it? What was it? The one where it... Um, half movement, whatever, in Contagion range. Okay. Perfect. So, Yep. That makes sense. And then you've got a Death Guard Sorcerer and Terminator armor. He's got Miasma of Pestilence, which is you pick a unit and it is minus one to hit. Uh, and then he's got Plague Wind. What is Plague Wind? Plague Wind, I'm pretty sure all it does is a bunch of mortal wounds on a certain roll, but looking at right now, Plague Wind is you roll a d6 for that unit. For each 6, that unit suffers one mortal wound, and if the result of the psychic test is 9 or more, it suffers one mortal wound on a 5 up instead. Okay. And that is an 18-inch range. I did get that feedback, Dan. I am adjusting my microphone and volumes. So, again, just continue to let me know. Uh, just so everybody knows, I have completely transitioned over, thank you, uh, to the new streaming software. So I'm still kind of fine-tuning and dialing in settings and stuff. But we are completely on the new streaming software platform. So that's why some of this stuff is going to be a little bit different. Uh, and then 
He's got. Did you go over Plague Chosen and what that is? Oh, Plague Chosen. That's just the um, extra roller trait. Okay. Um, I gave him the infected remains so I can pick an objective and it effectively has contagion. Okay. And then Typhus, who is just Typhus, and you are running the uh, Harbingers. Is that? That's his specific one. He gets all the buffs. On. Is that the Army of Renown one, or is that just a generic one generic. in the book? Okay, I didn't know. Yeah, the so. Army of Renown doesn't exist anymore. Yep. I know that. You know that. But <laughs> yeah. I wasn't going to be like, no, you can't run it on stream. Yep. You know, like, do your thing. Uh, and then you've got a bunch of Plague Marines and a bunch of Pox Walkers. Yep, 50. Yep. And then we are sitting on top of a big brick of Blight Lords. What is that, a five-man? Yep, five-man of Blight Lords. Um, I gave him the flail and a bunch of bubotic axes. Yep. And I gave the, um, what do you call it, pathogen, explosive outbreak. So sixes explode for melee. Okay, and then we got the old tally man. Yep, good old tally. I gave him the toll keeper, so I can roll 2d6 on a 7-up. I get an additional command point. All right. And, and then I, we've got two mephitic blight haulers and then a predator with twin lads. Twin lads, havoc, and two heavy bolters. Yep. And then death guard secondaries for this game. We are going to take assassinate, which everybody should be familiar with. Uh, we are going to take no prisoners, which, again, I think everybody is familiar with. that perform the action has obsec ability then the objective marker is said to have been contaminated by your army otherwise it fails on a four or a three or less right uh, but you scored stream died or i died okay this is going to be an adventure guys awesome hooray new software gotcha yeah, I am not sure how this software is going to handle everything, but we're going to get there. Uh, spread the sickness. We've got, you do an action on an objective. If it has OPSEC, it automatically completes. Otherwise, it fails on a 1, 2, or 3, and you score 3 points each time you spread the sickness in your deployment zone, 4 points each time you do it outside of your deployment zone. All right, and I don't see the break on my end, which is interesting, so I don't know what it was. And then we will go, uh, let's start with uh, Night Lords. Go ahead and walk me through your list, uh, starting with your Demon Prince and Disco Lord. All right, so starting out, uh, Demon Prince over here, that's Dirty Dan. He is uh, got the uh, Night Lord specific Warlord trait, Dirty Fighter. Uh, it picks an enemy unit. They fight last. Um, then he's also got the claws of the Strigian Count, which is a Night Lord specific relic. Uh, it's based, it replaces a Malefic Talon, gives him a couple extra attacks, and he ignores anything that reduces damage in any way with that weapon. Um, damage or AP? Uh, two damage. Okay. Neg three. Yep. No, I just meant. Uh... Oh, that that uh, is ignore damage reduction rules. I just want to yes. make sure. Yes, each I know time an attack stuff. is made with this weapon is allocated to an enemy model. That enemy model cannot use any rules to ignore the wounds. So no duty eternal, no feel no pains, no nothing. Right. Got it. Yep. Um, so that's what he does. Uh, Kids out with wings. And I just gave him two malefic talons and replaced one. Uh, then I got uh, Disco Dave over here, my Lord Discordant. He's got the Warlord trait Flames of Spite, which lets him re-roll the wound rolls. And on wound rolls of six, he inflicts mortal wounds in addition. And then he also has the relic um, Grogets of Eternal Hate, uh, just making him making his save a lot better. Basically giving him uh, Armor of Contempt back. Yep. And a four-up invuln. And he explodes if he dies. Uh, we'll see if we can keep him alive this game, though. Uh, then I got a Warpsmith, who is my Warlord. Uh, nothing special about him. And he's just got his power axe. Uh, and then we got a whole bunch of legionaries, right? Yeah, I got two squads of legionaries with the mark of Zinch. Um, both of them have a flamer in there. All my champions are kitted out with plasma pistols and uh, demon blades. Um, and then one of those squads of Zinch boys 
has uh, the Balefire Tome, and they've got Prescience. As their spell. Yep. The other two squads are all chain sword squads with Mark of Corn. Um, all of them have the icon as well. Right. I got a Hellbrute uh, with two Hellbrutes and two Heavy Flamers and Mark of Slanesh. Uh, I got one squad of five Possessed. I got one squad of Raptors. Uh, no Mark. Uh, three Plasma Pistols in the squad. And yeah, that's and pretty much big, it. And then a, land raider. And my land raider fully kitted out with all of them free new upgrades. Um so why not? Then to my patrol detachment, which is a Slanesh Demons uh detachment. Um got my Torment Bringer on Seeker Chariot with Hysterical Frenzy, which is a spell that makes all my demonettes much more lethal. Uh exploding sixes and stuff like that. Then I got three squads of ten demonettes, and that is oh, my list. That's a hammerhead. I pulled up the wrong slide, sorry. <laughs> uh, yep, he's got a patrol of demons. I managed to miss that one, sorry about that. He does not have a hammerhead, but he <laughs> did walk you through what was in it. And then his secondaries are going to be Raise the Banners, which, again, everybody's familiar with. And then Sow the Seed, Reap the Fear. You gain a point if your opponent fails a morale tech test. You gain a point if your opponent falls back. And you gain a point if they fail on action. And then I believe you still roll 2d6 against the leadership, right? If you kill a model. And if you roll higher than you yes. get a point. Yep. And then for... That's for Sow the Seed. And then Rise to the Glory. Uh, at the end of the battle round, you get two points for each character, monster, or vehicle that was destroyed by a melee attack. Uh... Based on wounds, you score an additional one or two additional ones if it had wounds of 20 or more. So so if it's 10 to 19, you get three points. If it's 20 or more, you get four points is how that's going to break down. But you can only score five points per battle round from it. Uh, and then each time a character, monster, or vehicle is destroyed by a melee attack, roll 2d6. And if it's less than the wounds characteristic of that model, you gain a command point in addition to. All right, so we are, like I said, going to be doing a little bit different mission than we normally do. Uh, we dipped into some of the older mission packs to pull this one out of the vaults. So we're going to do Surround and Destroy. We're going to be tweaking it just slightly. Uh, you only have to control one objective to score four points. Even though there's six objectives on the table, it's control one for four, two for four more, three or more for an additional four. And then at the end of your turn, if you control both the objectives in your deployment zone and any of the objectives in your opponent's deployment zone, you're going to score four points. So it's just a little tweak on the old Surround and Destroy to make it kind of interact similar to the newer missions. Uh, here is our deployment zone for that mission. Uh, while we do that, why don't you gentlemen go ahead and roll off four deployments. Five. Two. All right. All right. Tyler, who's dropping first? Tyler will. Tyler's going to go ahead and drop first while he drops. I'm going to have one squad of demonettes in Deep Strike. All right. And Blight Lords are also in Deep Strike. Mm, <clears throat> that's all I'm going to have in Deep Strike. Okay. Oh, all God. right. So we're back there. Monstrosity we made. Do, do, do. Where's my scoreboard? <laughs> Bam. Looking at it. Ugh. Fix this, Night Lords. And you guys can go ahead and commence in deployment. Oh. All right. Talk to you. All right, while they're deploying, I had some announcements that probably didn't get through because I was muted like a goon. Uh, so the reason half of the board looks a little weird is because I have two different cameras, and each camera is capturing half the board. So that's why you're getting a little bit of variance in color. I need to get two of the same camera, and it will help fix that. But until then, we're going to have half the board be dark and half the board be light. But that's also why you can see basically the whole board and get it pretty zoomed in and see a lot of the detail. You can even see like the dice numbers and stuff. So that's that's why that interacts the way that it does. 
And also, as I get better lighting and stuff, that will improve Let's it as well. Yep. Mute the shirt mics while they do their deployment. All right, so a few uh, a few announcements here while they're deploying. Um, for those that missed it earlier, we are going to be starting some non-40K games here in the near future. I don't have an exact timeline for it. We are looking to do some rank-and-file style fantasy games. It will most likely not be actual Warhammer fantasy, at least not anytime soon. If I do any fantasy, it'll be once the new rules come out. Uh, we are looking to do a game based off an existing rule set called Hounds of War, and it's pretty neat. You get to basically custom make your whole army based on you know the models you already own as opposed to having to buy somebody's models and their rules to go with their models. So it's kind of like a Build-A-Bear for games. Uh, we are working on all that. Once we get that to a playable state, we'll start streaming that game. In addition, we may do some Blood Bowl or we may do some uh, Kill Team or something. Uh, and then we are going to be back on our Every Other Sunday RPG stream coming up here soon. So there's going to be a lot of content coming back out. Um, and then in addition to that, uh, we'll have some new shirts coming in the shirt store. Right, and I've already added hats to the shirt store, so if you guys like hats, there's hats in the shirt store. So now it's also a hat store. You could call it a haberdashery if you wanted to, although I doubt they actually make the hats there. You're muted, so. <laughs> so they're doing their deployment. We talked about the announcements. Um events coming up for those that don't know yeah dude you're not wrong uh this this last couple weeks i've been really getting on it uh i just did a tantalus review for dark eldar and different ways to play it and actually that that video got some really good feedback from the community on youtube and uh also some some folks on youtube were like hey this is really cool will you do a video on this also so one of, one of the next videos I'm going to be doing is one of them requested a Craft Worlds, Far Flung Craft Worlds review, which is just the custom Craft Worlds. And what I'll be doing is I'll be ranking or picking like the best, what I think are the best five combos out of it, because there's a lot of them. There's what, 20, 22, I think, custom Craft Worlds or 20, uh, somewhere in that range. I think there's 22, but 20 of them can be combined. The Tantalus one is pretty neat. Because it talks about different ways to play it and why I think it's good, even though it's arguably, quote-unquote, not good. Um, you know, and, and different factions, because the Tantalus, you can give it any faction keyword. So it can take the Witch keyword, it can take the Homunculus keyword, uh, and it can take the Cabal keyword. And interestingly, the Cabal stuff tends to benefit it the least, even though the Cabal stuff tends to be shootier. Um, obviously, there's a couple of good pictures uh, I could absolutely do that about Sisters and Guard also. Um, now that I've, I uh, have had a chance to kind of dig into the Guard book a little bit, I'll probably be doing that. Sisters would also be fun. There's uh, and, and what I'll be doing is I won't be making whole lists for it. I'm just going to be giving like concepts or guidelines. So like, okay, I could take Vengeful, which is Sixes Explode, I believe, and then Savage Blades, which is bonus AP on the charge or get charged. And that's a really good combo, right? But I'm not going to make a 2,000 point list. I'd just be like, okay, so here's how you could use these units to interact with this combo. I, I, I'm, again, I'm, I'm not going to tell you how to play the game. I want people to kind of play and explore and figure things out for themselves. But I will kind of let people know, like, this is where I see this being pretty good. So, like, Storm Guardians are pretty good. Uh, they're... they're it's it's interesting because a lot of the Eldar community just poo poos their troops, but point for point they have some of the better troops in the game. And Storm Guardians, you could get basically you know a unit of ten will throw twenty dice, hitting on three sixes explode. Really easy access to reroll ones. Uh, really easy access to reroll hits and or wounds. So they've got a lot of synergy you can layer on them to make them kind of bonkers. And that's probably what I would do if I did the sisters one too, is just pick like the top three to five. 
Right, exactly. Uh, you know, so it's one of those where I don't want to get into a whole list construction because the way I play the game is so different than the way maybe you play the game. So me telling you this is the best stuff is, is so subjective that it doesn't it, it it doesn't matter. But if I can show you here are things that interact well based on what I see, it'll at least give you the idea of why I like it or how I think it interacts. So, but yeah, no, the, the Tantalus one is pretty neat because like I said, a lot of times you think the Cabal is going to benefit it because that's the shooty aspect of the faction, right? But what ends up happening is most of their stuff doesn't actually benefit it because it only benefits like poison weapons, for example. So they tend to actually benefit from the witch culture the a bit more. I believe they're done deploying. I'm going to check in with them. They sure are. So we're going to go ahead and put them back on mic, and we're going to do the turn one roll off. Yes, indeed. Do we have any redeploys or anything, guys? Um, Obviously, it doesn't matter until after the roll off. But... Yeah, I don't have any CP, so... You got it. Hey, I go Night Lords first. go first, and actually we're going to just bump this score up to 10. We know that they may or may not have a completely painted army, but nope. we just give the 10 points for now anyway. <laughs> we're cute. All right. Command phase. Um, I appreciate Warsmith that is feedback, Kyle. Buffing up this Land Raider. We're going to go ahead and slap them on Home mute boy real quick. Here. So he's he's buffing the Land Raider with his Warp Smith, and he's buffing the Demonettes with his. Uh... All right, so. So Night Lords get to go first, all right? So, boop. We're going to get one of these here, right? We're going to get one of these here. Those boys go into here. And also for the viewers back home, these three uh, here, I believe our industrial is what they agreed on. So that's just a big minus one to hit lane right there. Boop, boop, boop. Got the Hellbrew going right here. <laughs> One day my prince will come. Priming it with a certain whatchamacallit plane. This is why Tyler stays on mute, just so everybody knows. Did you start with anything in Deep Strike, or did you both start with everything on the table? Okay. So we got one squad of Demonettes in Deep Strike and Possessed in the Land Raider. <laughs> I wish I could argue with that, Dan. I wish I could argue with that. What's advancing right now, Austin? Okay. So we got some corny lads moving right up to here. And... All that, all that gorgeous orc terrain that you see on my, uh, on the table there, is actually all product that I have to build and paint for James Workshop himself, and it is going to be uh, being used at I believe Warhammer Fest, uh, which is like the new big event that we're doing this year. 
So that's pretty cool. Uh, my handiwork is going to be at Warhammer Fest, for better or worse. Yep, that's that's why they stay muted. <laughs> We'll see. We'll see if these happen right here. It'll be interesting. I don't know if everybody's seeing the markups pretty well or not. That was the big draw to swapping out the software is that the markup was built in. So I get to I get to pretend like I'm John Madden making turduckins and drawing on screens. Look at me go. Then. Then I'm going to get really good at this, and then my stream players are going to be watching the stream as they play so they can figure out what their opponents are doing while I'm doing it. <laughs> That's a bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off. So we got Raptors coming right up here onto the objective into the terrain. There we go. We got there. So, as far as this one, we got the local barrier. Yep. We've got two marks out the barrier there. So, we got two banners on the table right now. Not there yet. So, I think we're. Yep. Let's clear this off. So it's here, and yeah, it does with a nine. All right, so he cast prescience. Uh, where is that coming from? Sorry. Here. Yep. And it goes off with a big spicy eleven. Here. Boop. So we're ready for the shitting phase. Chuck Norris, indeed. It's pretty cringe. <laughs> All right. Yeah, no, and I appreciate the, the early notice. Uh, honestly, Dan, uh, it's going to be sad to not have you there. But I absolutely get it. There is stuff going on. And, yeah, no, it's one of those where I'd, I'd rather you get to come play and have fun. But I am glad that the slot was, was filled pretty quickly and easily. Uh, for those that don't know, the last cannons on the Land Raider going into Morty. Are the other guns going into him as well? All right. So the Nasty Boy is getting the regular Blicky. And then Morty getting the Super Laz cannons. All right, last cannons into Mortarian. Four hits, 
no explosions because he's in the super duper heavy weapon explosion doctrine. Wounding on threes because they're super skronk. And one goes through. All right, one last cannon punches through for two mighty damage on Mortarian. Uh, let's see if the rest of his shooting phase gets a little better. Combi Bolter next into the Pox Walkers. All right, so we got six shots on. He gets two explosions on the heavy bolters. Wounding on Havoc Launcher, sorry. So still wounding on fours. Four saves. That's going into this squad down here. One dies. And now the heavy bolter. He's going to be wounding on fours. Yep. Stupid poopy duty damage reduction. <laughs> Hellbrute doesn't have anything that can shoot, correct? Right, out of range. Uh, yep. Everything advanced. All right. So we don't have anything left for the rest of your turn. Uh, I will need extra chain swords if you have them. I have a, yeah. Okay. Uh, did you score any points? Nothing for rise to glory. Uh, your banners are down. Nothing for sow the seed, reap the fear. Actually, how many? No, because you're not in range for the debuffs. Uh, all right. So that'll take us to the bottom of turn one, Death Guard. Uh, all right. So everybody out there, I'd be curious to know what you think Tyler's going to do on his turn. Let's let's get some, some chat going. Tyler doesn't even know what he's going to do on his turn. Jesus, Kyle, that's rough. I said, let's see if <laughs> what Tyler's going to do on his turn, and Kyle said, fuck it up. <laughs> 10 out of 10, would recommend. All right. I mean, to be fair, Morty can't actually hide, so uh, it's going to be interesting. I think it's going to go here, and then it's going to go here. Stop looking at the screen, you doof. Sorry, I can't help you. you can. You can focus on your game. Just rotate it a little bit. Well, I'll just rotate it. Now he's got to literally come over and look at it. Tyler's, <laughs> Tyler's over here checking out my screen. <laughs> he's like... God, I'm tired of Chris always knowing what I'm doing before I do it. I'm going to make sure he's right. Uh, yeah, uh, I agree. 
<laughs> Give that boy some help. He's like LeBron James, dude. He just needs a little help. I think, because uh, you can only do one spread the sickness, right? Uh, yep, there it is. He just told me as I was making the X on where I thought he was going to do it. And uh, sure enough, that's where he's doing the spread the sickness. <laughs> that's what I love about playing against Tyler. I always know what he's going to do and where he's going to do it. <laughs> there screened enough by what what are you trying to decide as long as as long as any portion of his base as long as you can draw a line of sight to any portion of his base then yes to at least get the minus one because they're industrial right yeah, so they're just minus one to shoot through. Okay. Yep. Yep, yep. Right. He was like, let's go. But he got that spicy advance roll. So if we look right here, this was kind of a botch uh, because everything's bottlenecked right here, the units that need to get out. Uh, I believe the, the there is a lane over here that you can't see. My camera cut it off. Uh, but I believe that's where the blight haulers are at without looking at the table. Yep. I'll look. We got a rules question. Uh, do hell brutes have smoke screen? I believe they do, but it it depends because there's three different hell brute data sheets. They don't have the smoke screen keyword. You are something special, Tyler. I didn't specify. Nope, none of the Hellbrutes have the smoke screen keyword. Uh, Tyler been cheating again. <laughs> My asthma. Oh, we're already on the psychic phase? All right, so who's casting right now, Tyler? Point. Who's casting? So, Tyler, speeding into the psychic phase, starting with Mortarian with his asthma of pestilence. So, Morty's going to be minus one to hit. That was one of the things he had. Is that the one where you roll dice against models in the unit and do mortals? Yeah. And he's just got a 12-inch contamination range, right? No, you won't. He's minus one toughness out to 12 inches, right? Mortarian, nine inches. Okay. Great nurgly burgly. <laughs> so these are now minus one strength on the talons. That's what's there, right? Warp talons? Raptors. Right. Well, it's, it's one of those where in a lot of ways they're all the same to me, even because because I only played world eaters. I'll give you some putrescent vitality, boy. All right. Yeah, all two of them. <laughs> all right. Putrescent vitality failed to go off. And he is scrolling right now to figure out what his other 20 spells are. And then at the bottom of the battle round... We'll do a score recap. Uh, no. 
No, you're just short. That is one nice thing about having the overhead view is like I can see so well. Uh, right. All right, time for the shooting phase. Where are we starting, Tyler? Oh, <laughs> Austin's going to ground. Oh, no. Boop. Right there. Man, it's tough being me. And he whiffed. Yeah. Yeah. Nick three. He's not. He's not a loyalist, dude. Uh, <laughs> I think yep. The Hellbrutes down to six wounds, I believe. I believe they're eight wounds. Uh, and now he re-rolls his wound rolls of one, if I remember correctly. And I believe he's got a strat where if he takes damage, he can shoot back. Is that true? That's fair. I just, yep. Yeah. But uh, what's the strat called? Because you may have to shoot directly back at the unit that shot. You don't? Okay, perfect. Perfect. Yeah, he's going to flame some pox walkers. Let's go. So we got nine auto hits on the uh, pox walkers. So wounding on threes. Spicy. So Tyler's got to put out five, feel no pains. Why are they T5? Oh, okay. I was like, uh-uh. Uh, did they change? I don't know. Did they? From what? Are they supposed to be regular flamers and not heavy flamers? I don't know. You'll have to... Yep, he's got two heavy flamers, so they wound the pox walkers on three. Uh, and then the pox walkers are T4. Yep, he just has a feel no pain, though. Doesn't even get a save. Do you get the two bonus hits on those heavy flamers? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Gotcha. Poopy, poopy duty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, he, he added it in. He just rolled really poorly. Uh, <laughs> that's actually what we were just talking about. <laughs> he rolled a five, but got to add four to it because there were two addition or two flamers for two additional per. All right, so the blight haulers, which are out here, unfortunately, I can't get that on the screen yet. I'm still tweaking settings and positioning, uh, but there's some demonets that they've got line of sight on down here that they're going to shoot at. He kills two demonettes. Yes. It doesn't matter when you roll twos, though. <laughs> I, uh, maybe use the black dice. I think those are the sister's dice. You're using the tau dice. Her heretics, heretics only use the sister's dice. <laughs> All right, so the Predator's shooting now. So we've got last cannons going here. Uh, which normal boys? And then the heavy bolters going right here. Both of those things will be minus one to hit because he's got to shoot through all that industrial. 
and then the Havoc launcher is also going into those boys. Let's start with the heavy boulder hitting on fours. Because you're minus one, right? You got to shoot through all that industrial. Uh, wounding on threes, though. So we got a couple four up or die. Spicy make, spicy make. Threes. No AP, four wounds. He's losing a Marine this time. Nope. <laughs> oh, because they're Zinch. Yeah, yeah. So they took zero damage. All right, he makes the five up. Uh, I like to see that neither one of them have a very effective shooting phase. Uh, Austin's most effective shooting happened on Tyler's turn. Uh, the shooting boys are going to shoot, he says. Yeah, overcharging plasma. Let's go. Who's shooting, Tyler? So we got a couple plague marines going to shoot here. There is a line there. Forgive my curve. Coward. Real heroes roll ones. Yeah, neg three for plasma, so neg two because you're in cover. Five up. Don't you guys always get rapid fire? Because of inexorable advance? Okay. I didn't know. Good good to know. It does get hot, dude. Drop it like it's hot. Drop it like it's hot. I'm going to take you guys way back with some, some really shitty Snoop Dogg songs. Not even good ones. None. It'll be a two up because you're in cover. Ha ha! Take that damage. This guy makes all his fives ups, fails all his two ups. He he is the Warhammer forty thousand. All right, so he's going to do the rest of his shooting real quick. It's going to be threes and fours. This is just his little bolt guns, his biddle, biddle bolt guns. Hit you with them spoonerisms, too. And just barely made them. <laughs> All right, so shooting phase is done. We're moving on to charging. <laughs> well, what is it called when you try to hit people with the tank? What was the rule for that? Death and glory or death or glory or something? That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, Morty. Morty whiffs that spicy charge. But it's only doing one damage. Oh, yeah, you silly goose. <laughs> so he makes it with a reroll on a seven. Uh, that's going to be some dead raptors. But it's also probably going to end up being a dead Morty. <laughs> Dead. Never mind. Can't say that on stream. <laughs> I mean, I probably can. I don't think anybody's going to care. <laughs> uh, that's all his charges, I believe. He's going to plow right through him.
And they don't have the demon save, do they? No. That's only the warp talents? Only yeah. yeah. All right. That's right, friend. All right. So we now are done with the bottom of turn one. Uh, Tyler, uh, you've got ten killed for no prisoners, I believe. Which is only end of game, so we don't really need to stress out about. Uh, we got one objective for spread the sickness. Uh, that was in yours. Is eight. So, all right, so at the end of Tyler's turn, uh, we're, we're going to worry about no prisoners at the end of the game, but he did get one spread the sickness, so he's going to have a mighty 13. Uh, moving on to the top of two. He's rolling his tally man. Austin, you control three objectives, but not more. So you're going to get eight points. Uh, and then you have two banners. So you're going to have 20 points. And then you're going to gain your command point. He got his command points. We're getting ready to command phase buffs if there are any to hand out. I, I think he's just a monster. Which you still get like points for killing him. Yeah. Right. So the land, land Raider's getting plus one to hit. I'm going to mute real quick. I got to.
sorry, had a car in the shop today getting some maintenance done, and they just called to let me know what my check engine light was, and it's exactly what I figured it would be. Uh, so everything's good, car's working, everybody's happy. Uh, O2 sensor, yep, which, yeah, and it could literally be anything. No, I just meant, like, like, it, it could just, like, need jostled, it could need replaced, it could be anything. Right, but they charge you almost that much just in labor. I'll just do it myself, because the O2 sen sensors are easy, right? Uh, right. Why would you do this? You had you had the agonies of delight. It's so good. I do miss when you could put it on a Land Raider, though. Uh, they don't get the Slanesh keyword, I thought, because they can't take they they can't take the mark. So because they can't take the mark, they don't get the keyword. I agree. I also agree, but that was their way around people doing the things that I did with Land Raiders when Land Raiders were bad. <laughs> A salmon, a salmon land raider. Uh, so, oh, sorry, uh, I did kind of miss this turn as he kind of positioned and moved. We had to get that conversation taken care of. But, I mean, we can all kind of see what's going on here. We know uh, we know that this thing is going to buff them, and then they're probably going to go here. There's a good chance uh, after he softened up by this. Where did, oh, I see, Austin is not playing around. He just, like, really converged onto Mortarian. Tyler feels like he's the master at baiting right now. He's, like, rubbing his hands, twirling his little... <laughs> Mustache. He's like, yes, <laughs> I have trapped him. <laughs> like, uh, God, for all you old guys out there watching the old Snidely Whiplash cartoons, that's also true. I know you remember Rocky and Bullwinkle, Kyle. Don't act like you don't. <laughs> With, uh, what's his name, Snidely and Muttley, I think, was the dog. And the dog had, like, that wheezy kind of, like, <laughs> laugh. Kind of, yeah. All right, uh, <laughs> yeah, exactly, dude. Uh, so we're done with the movement. Is he dropping any banners? Yep. Right there. Yeah, which we kind of figured was coming. Uh... Them P wizards gonna cast P murder, son. Where are we where are we starting at? Casting death hex. All right, so Wizwaz casting death hex off Ooh. the demon prince. That's a spicy 11. Uh, That'll do it. I mean, I get to. You can try. I have like three of them on him, so I not? know. Let's hope uh, we don't have to worry about that anymore. You got it. All right. Death Hex. On Mortarian. Mortarian. No invulnerable save. All right. Yes. Mm. Too loud? All right. I'll turn them down. Sorry. No, uh, it's not your fault. It's me still trying to dial in. We're going to go ahead and have him cast Delightful. Not Delightful. I mean, it's Hysterical Frenzy on those Dial in settings. There. Is that better? I'm yes. going to have to burn my one CP I got there we to go. fix that. Yeah, because that's not a good roll at all. Would you dub ones? Yeah. He did. Not he dub ones. Uh, it does go off with a nine if you want to try to deny that one. I did do that. I got a nine, so no. All right, cool. So those demonettes are uh, getting exploding sixes and oh, they're getting yeah. additional attacks. Those are spicy demonettes. The spiciest. And then last but not least, uh, these uh, Vinci boys are going to try to cast Prescience. Prescience, I think, needs a seven. Who's casting out the Demon Prince Wall? The unit. I think Prescience is a seven. the model, though, right? Yeah, it's the yeah. wizard. He just asked who... I meant, like, the unit, not the character. Sorry. Right. Yeah, Prescience is a seven. I do not 
I think that's a little awkward still. I didn't know I just Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh yeah, probably should like get better at the game. So Morty's minus one to hit. Just periods. Yep. Okay. Alright, uh then we'll go on to the shooting phase. Good old miasma. And we'll miasma. just we're just gonna start dumping. Um Dumping. <laughs> mm. <laughs> I'll um that. Land Raider. Last cannons All right, going he's into dumping. Morty. He's dumping last cannons into Morty. Flamer into Morty. Uh, we'll go ahead and put the Havoc Launcher into that unit. Damn straight you are. And the um, Heavy Bolters into that unit. Everything else is going to Morty. So we'll start out with that unit back there. Havoc Launcher, the 10-man squad. Which one? Oxwalkers? This one. You get max, buddy. A 20. That's a max. 20? Alright, so six shots from max, the Havoc Launcher. On twos. Alright, missed one. Strength five. Look for threes to wound. Three wounds. No AP, one damage to speed. Do that. Heavy bolters. On twos. Everything hit. Threes. Uh, four more. There's one. Two damage piece. One more die. You are calling the horde. Okay. Uh, combi bolter flamer into Morty. Let's we'll start with the combi bolter. Two shots on threes. Um, the winning on sixes because TA. No, correction. This is on fours because I am effectively minus two. Yep. Even with my plus one, so it's still on fours. Uh, looking for eight or sixes. Yep. Nothing there. Flamer, D6 shots. Eight shots. All right, he's getting ready to do it. He's going to do it. One. He's not going to do it. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Ah, he did it. <laughs> he did it. Woo! <laughs> um... Then I guess that just leaves the last cannons. Yeah, let's do it, last cannons. All those hit. Too bad they don't explode. -y. Uh, wouldn't have worked there. That's fair. I mean, yeah, it's always nice to have explosions. Right. Um, threes. Oof, come on. Got two of them. How many Tag CP three. you got? Coward? Three. Six up. Oh, yeah, he doesn't have an invul no, right now. No, he doesn't. Uh, Paid he off both. this time. Yeah, it's, it's worth. This is where we should have spent our CP. Uh, three and one, so four. Um. So they add two to no. his last cannons. Yeah, my last oh. cannons are, so that's a five damage and a three damage. Okay. So, so eight. Adding one. How many? Eight, eight damage total. Yeah, you know, you could just keep rolling like that, and this game will that's not go uh, anywhere for that's, me. That's how you kind of interact with Feel No Pains. Yeah, it <laughs> When is. I that trip six my, that one. That on has the, been my lot with the this lone rack. stupid game. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, Hellbrute, same target. Uh, both his flamers into him. All right, Hellbrute dumping the flamers. Ooh, hot diggity. That's 16 auto hits? I think so. Yeah, because uh, it's 8-8. Eight, eight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, 16 auto hits going on, Morty. These are wounded on fives, not that measly four. That That's right, not that, not that does. six garbage. And Mish. I think he's still re-rolling ones because he's damaged. Yep. Very nice. This L Hellbrute so we got, hit, we right? got the Hellbrute dumping Always into Morty right, right now. We'll you see know, how this right. goes. Uh, I see some sixes there. Well, not that know. they do anything special. They're minus one. They're that, minus one even when they're fives, though. Yeah. <laughs> no rerolls, though. Nope, no rerolls, and that's all fine. Five. Five. AP one. Neg one. Four up. Uh, one damage each. Yep. Mm -hmm. He takes two more. You're doing it, Austin. Every little bit helps, you know. You're doing it. All right. Uh. Uh oh. Did we just drop? Range. No, you're fine, guys. Uh, these boys here, yep. gonna put everything I got into him. So four pistols and a flamer. Okay, cool. My viewers went from like six to one. Uh, uh and that's usually an indication that something dropped. 
but it could just be the software kind of resyncing also. Yep, they're starting to climb back up again. There one we go. One egg one. One egg one? Mm-hmm. I think uh, my next project, okay. once I get all the lightning, Pistols. lightning, lightning and everything dialed in, is to start running Ethernet down here, which should alleviate some of this. I've not had any issues with the old software, but this new software seems to just suck. Uh, resources. Okay. It's probably not very optimized. Two? Okay, two. What's the that's, string? Five? That's Six. Probably the big issue here. Uh, he damage failed damage them both. Piece, so one damage piece. That's right. Guess what? No damage of Two piece. Uh, he's got 11 wounds left. Great nurgly burgly. I've been making a bunch of field no bangs. I can't mm. even bitch. <laughs> he will. I absolutely will. Give me a minute. Yep. Hey, cool, that was shooting. <laughs> All right, so we're done That's with the shooting. Point. Uh, Distraction, Morty. Charge phase. We're going to slap them back on mute for a little bit here. Uh, we got demonettes going into here, which we kind of already figured was going to happen. That'll definitely make it. Don't know if that's what he wants, but they'll get there. Those fight at strength four, correct? But they get bonus attack and sixes explode right now. Well, it's, it's more, he, that's his objective now. Alright. He's heckin' rude, friend. Uh-oh. He's in there like swimwear. I think that's a make based on what I can see. Yeah, he's he's You heard it from his mouth, folks. Tyler's cheating. Yep, yep, Disco Lord starting first. <laughs> you you can. Haven't you seen The Ringer? Isn't that what that movie's called? So I, I've I've actually not seen it, uh, but I've heard enough about it. I'm I'm oh, that minus one to hit coming in spicy. Uh, not a huge Johnny Knoxville fan, man. Uh, he rerolls his wounds. So five ups. One damage. And immortal. All right, it's fancy sword time. Dang, fancy sword coming through. What's the rend? What's the strength? Okay, so two six ups and then damage. So one damage a piece after reduction. So three. Yep. Uh, so that'll put Mortarian down to five wounds. He's definitely in his middle bracket. Yeah, and I've, I've actually heard it's pretty good. Uh, I just, like, he's one of those people like Paul Rudd where I just see him, and I just wonder how much I would enjoy punching him in the face. Like, that's just kind of my interaction with him. Like... Yeah. 
It did. The way the That's right, cleanse it. Cleanse it with ointment. <laughs> yeah. Nur I mean, Nurgle's Rot does sound like something you'd catch on Victory Drive. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> there it is. So Austin was also a fellow infantryman, and he knows what Victory Drive is. Uh, it just took him a minute to go back there. <laughs> Speaking of infantryman, uh, I just learned something yesterday that I didn't know. Uh, I learned my uncle on uh, my dad's side was an infantryman. So, like, all my dad's brothers all served, right? Except for, I thought, two. Uh, but turns out only one of them didn't serve. But, like, I have an uncle who was a helicopter pilot in the Army. I got an uncle who's a navigator for the Navy. I had an uncle who... Uh, was pararescue in the Air Force, right? My dad was in the Air Force as a SP. And then... Uh, what else? Well, then then my Uncle Jim, right? Uh, didn't even know he ever served. And then yesterday, he dropped that bomb on me and was just like, yeah, man, I was also in the infantry. I went through Fort Benning. And I was like, what? <laughs> oh. <laughs> man, did not know that. So it was kind of cool to learn. Uh, that, that, that mental deficiency just kind of runs in the family, evidently. Yeah, hell brute. Hitting on fours, right? Hell brute's getting ready to swing into Morty. He's core. Do you have any re-rolls near him? Well, your demon prince, I just don't know how. I don't think he's within six of your demon prince, but. Right. Right. You're wounding on threes, though, right? Right. How many CP you got? Gotcha. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Didn't matter. All right, so he gets two hits out of his six attacks. Wounding on threes, rerolling Juans. And he gets a two. This is the way. Uh, it's a neg three, right? He did make it. Uh, so... Mortarian lives with uh, five wounds left. Uh, at the end of your turn, uh, does Mortarian ignore leadership mods? You got a lot of. Do you, how many leadership debuffs do you have on him? Oh, gotcha. Right. No, that's fair. I just happened to think about that. Right. <laughs> uh, so you didn't get anything for Sow the Sow, Reap the Fear. Uh, you got your two banners. Uh, and we didn't get anything for uh, Rise. Uh, so that's going to be the end of your turn. At the start of your turn, Tyler, you control two. Three still. All right. So, so you, but you also still have three. So Tyler will get eight points. Uh, so we're up to 21. And then we've got no prisoners, spread the sickness, and assassinate. So, all right. Uh, that's it. He does it every command phase, but he can still only gain one command point per battle round. He's going to bring back some pox walkers, some wax pockers. He gets five pox walkers back, only five. That's right. 
He killed five. Five came back. I told you, you just need special ointment, buddy. Uh, it sounds like you should just play sisters. <laughs> They're a lot of fun. Right. Uh, my, my experience with sisters is they are a lot of fun. But, like... Well, the... the, the not until his next psychic phase. It's, uh... They're just, uh, there's not a lot of variety in the codex, and that's my biggest complaint. Like, as much as I complain about the orc codex, at least there's, like, right, like, the orc codex might be booty, but there's so much booty in that codex that I could bring different booty every game. Alright, so, uh, they're gonna spread the sickness. That's happening there. Uh, and there's nothing that can be done about that. And they are obsec, right? Uh, so we've got. The what? I thought you said the stale king. <laughs> right, like, uh, you know what, actually, that, that makes sense. This has been such a weird addition. So those boys are booping right there. Those boys booped up here. We got these that moved up, and again, there's stuff kind of over here. All right. I wouldn't go that way. He's going to, yeah, he's... So, it is. It is indeed. They're going to hop on pop. Tyler over here breaking his models. Right? I think that arguably just makes it worse. Uh, <laughs> bounce with it, bounce with it. Bounce. Oh, sorry. Everything's a song cue for me. It's just who I am as a human. What did you bring instead? What did you bring instead? The troops are actually, yeah, well, I would say the troops are actually really good. Right. Uh, uh, arguably, like, if you'd have brought two or three hell brutes, you'd have probably been feeling a little bit better. That's fair. Hell, hell brutes are, rap yeah, do funk, master flex, yo, 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 what's up? <laughs> Flavo, flave. Uh, dude, shoot him with your demonettes coming out of deep strike. <laughs> Hit him with your flamers. Now that they hit on fours. You silly goose. And uh, your demon prince gives a six inch aura of reroll hit rolls of one.
been there. This is why I'm hot. I'm hot because I'm fly. You ain't because you not. This is, sorry. Yep, there we go. Yep. Crunch. He's gonna spend. Nope, nothing yet. An F1 Ford F150. Do it. Yes, yeah. All right, he denied it. He got a five on a smite. <laughs> He's about those delightful agonies. <laughs> going to be a big no from me, dog. Dun, 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 dun. Gift of Contagion coming out of his deuter. Can he cast again, or is he just a cast one? Oh. We're gonna we're gonna flip the mic back onto these boys as they get ready for the shooting phase. Those are some pretty good deny rolls for me. They uh, are. Well, not that five. That was pretty easy. So they are minus one strength and attack. I'll go and get a card out for them. Cringe. Uh, Cringe. What are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> then I'm going to go. So they only one. have three attacks at least now. That's kind of. Nope, has to be visible. So he can't do anything. Cool. Doody. Um, the poopy duty. So he's going to be actually speaking of pooping. He will poop in on that objective here. Then he can't cast. He already did that. I know. But it's a different kind of poop. He can make oh. the contagion range. The stinky objective. Alright. Yeah. When does that go off? Is it an action it's just an to do action. it? That's why I can't do then it. Then he can't turn. cast. No. He cannot do it. It's an action. Different guy. Thing. Yeah, oh, different gotcha, dude. gotcha. Yeah, okay. Different yeah, different dude. Yeah, the Terminator guy. was casting. Gotcha. No. Nope. I see. Um, shooting. I didn't realize that. Oh, go ahead and do your oh. thing. That uh, Alpha Legion could take away objectives you didn't yeah. know that? permanently. Yeah. That's pretty cool. It's hilarious. Uh, you guys are live on mic right now while Tyler walks through his shooting phase. Uh, what now? Um, I'm going to go and shoot my heavy bolters at your demonettes. A little? From where? Right here. I, I oh, yeah. I was say, <laughs> how, <laughs> how can you even see that? Because I was a dumbass. <laughs> all the way up there. And the last cannons and, uh, and everything. I mean, havoc launchers, heavy bolters, last cannons into the land raider. Okay, so you might as well want to hit the land raider. Yep. <laughs> Land Raider. Two hits. Doesn't matter. On fours. Two wounds. Snake three. So five ups. Let's go through. D6 damage. Eight. Eight damage. Just half of his wounds. Is oh, he bracketed spicy. There? He is. Well, Woo! actually, let me double check that. Eight might be. It's probably nine or more. Yeah, it's Usually probably top of middle bracket. Yeah. Um. Then heavy bolters. These are six shots. On three. Full beam. How many have in that unit? Six or more? Oh, uh, there's ten in that unit. Okay, so we'll get medium blast on the um, Havoc launchers, but don't matter there. Uh, D6 shots. I will get three. Two hits. One wound. 
Alright, one dies. Well, can't be that one. We'll take one of the less painted ones. Um, For the lantern, I'm going to go ahead and shoot it. Ah, oh, he's shooting the lantern. No, no, no. That's right, it's a pistol, isn't it? It's a Don't pistol, and it's a, straight, it's a straight line pistol. It's a weird one. It's a weird lantern pistol thing. So you can only target units you're engaged, engaged with. with. Yep. And you target the unit, not the model, so you just pick one and shoot. Oh, yeah. I'm just making sure. All right, um, uh, I have to go towards the um. That's the right. It's cover. a beam. Morty's just a big dwarf. You're not wrong. Isn't that just a human? Huh? Isn't that just a human? What a big. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead. Yeah. All right, man. Sometimes Tyler can Is make it? pretty good jokes. Uh, one wound. AP. Necrate. Yeah. No, I Necrate. we know. It's good just job. he was trying to see if there was any way for him to Failed hit more than to do one. It. Oh, yeah, you hit really well. You know, go on. Damage? Two. Because you're reduction. Okay, so he takes two. Yep. After reduction. Yep. Down to three wounds. Tyler actually made a good joke. He's getting angrier and angrier. No, he's getting hangrier and hangrier. Yeah. You need to feed that boy. We're about to. Uh, Tyler, oh. you could never make that face again, and I'd all be okay. That, you're not going to be okay, man. That's going to happen here in a bit. Um, I'm going to go ahead and shoot all my bull guns there. And yes, of course, I'm overcharging. Into the yep. corn boys? Uh, am I within range of thy re-rolls, though? That's a good question. Please. Of thine re-rolls. I am in range of thine re-rolls. So on threes, hit. On hot. One wound. One wound. Neg three. Neg three. Five up save. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Pop that dude. That dude's gonna die. He ate that plasma. It was delicious. Zero ones. Fours. Seven. Um, then I'm gonna go ahead and, uh... Excuse me. Yep. <laughs> he just did that. What's up? Nothing. Do your thing. Okay. Uh... You're all mic'd up. Okay. But we're only in two. Because I can see that back dude. Mm -hmm. the front dude. So, four shots. Two hits. On four. Alright. Hold on. Go. We're good. Okay. There's that five up he needed. Yeah, right. Um, plasma cannon's gonna go and go to those boys right there. These boys? Yep. Cool. D3 shots. Two shots. On. Mine's going to hit. Oh, yeah. Good point. Go on for us. Okay. Yeah. Ah. Oh, oh. That's a one to a hit roll for a plasma weapon. I don't know why I was rolling that. I, <laughs> I wasn't yeah, sure you, myself. Yeah, you don't get a feel. No I pain. know. It's just Black that's, Templar habits. That's, well, and that's old old Death Guard, buddy. Oh. Yeah, that too. I just want to roll it. That's fair. <laughs> anyway. So he's re-rolling his ones now, right? Yeah. I did yeah. that on purpose. That yeah, was all part of my plan. Yeah, see? That was all part of my plan. We talked yeah. about that. Get oh, it all I could have torched plan. Morty. <laughs> yeah, you could have actually. No, That's... I couldn't have because those aren't pistol weapons. Flamers would be one. He's a vehicle. He is a vehicle. That would have been funny. It wouldn't have killed. It might have killed him, but it wouldn't. I mean, probably wouldn't have killed him. Probably not. But um, it everything been funny. that would have been a hell of a way to do it. Everything's going to there. Here's the um, multi maltos. Mm -hmm. And then I'm fragging it, not cracking it. Uh -huh. The melta multis. My multi melta. Yeah. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> <laughs> on three. So those frags are going to be wounded on twos. <laughs> uh, good thing I just whiffed on the uh, multi melters though, on twos. Oh, no. The multi melters didn't go through. Oh, one wound. One, four up. Well, That's one a dies. pasted one. What's the damage? It's super pasted. <laughs> uh, All right, he just made some chunky salsa. So uh, and then we got some many, frags. How many shots does this thing get? D6. I think so, too. It's a D6 per frag. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If each one has one missile, then it's one D6 yep. per. So, two D6. Minimum of three. Um, How about 11? I'll take that. Oh, no. Threes and twos, threes you say. Threes and twos. Because you are in smelly range. Yeah. He is in smelly range. That's what we call it around here. That's really that just a... when you're within six feet of Tyler. <laughs> I smell good. What are you talking about? Everyone likes their own brand. Right? My brand. 
Thank you. Uh, six. Sad, yeah, six. six. Aura. All right, so. Okay. Uh, you just do that. Hey, yeah, these that guys works are too. The deep, or... <laughs> Fuck off with your push. <laughs> you just, not yeah, here. you can uh, just do that. Yeah, take take that, your frag storm. That's right. Bitch. <laughs> God. Ooh, that's what's going on there because they're touched in here. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and shoot all of this his stuff into the uh, the girls. Okay. Um, here, I'm not overcharging because there's Who's no Who's shooting? Uh, the uh, plague marines. The other, the three men that uh, are half here. killed. Going here. Uh, another. I've been letting you guys down. I'm sorry. How dare you? I've been us. getting into the game. It's been fun. EA Sports to the game. Uh, two wounds. And Tyler's going right back on mute. <laughs> <laughs> uh, one die. Okay. I'll bet you kill him. I don't think it'll be this turn, though. <laughs> um, we'll see what happens. I don't know, maybe. I have boys about to charge into the other side of the wall. Yeah, that's a thing that could happen. Mm -hmm. They are plus one to hit right now. Though. They are. That's nice. That's the entire point of me killing them. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> the fight's out. About the punch, what else you got? yo. I mean, that was a Lights lot of attack, out. Get you back. Got, two or three got your grill. Um... <clears throat> Frogs in my throat. I got frogs in my throat. I got frogs, frogs, frogs in my throat. And mute. <laughs> All right. So uh, I think he's about done with shooting anyway. So now's a good time to hit that mute button. Uh, so we're getting ready to charge. What's our first charge, Tyler? They're going to set to defend so they can add one to their hit rolls. What else is on that objective, Austin? Oh, it's your banner. Yeah, my banner. Yeah, I just I saw this disc on it, and it looks like like a chaos spawn from the top-down angle. Oh, yeah, yeah. And I was like, "What is that?" Speaking of chaos spawn, I might could have to get me some. I love them. I mean, well, they're not a bad data sheet. No, so, uh, and I, I, to be honest, I don't know the difference between them now and them in Eighth Ed. But I do know, like, when we were at Adepticon and people saw, like, my five chaos spawn on the other side of the table, they looked exhausted before we even started the game. <laughs> All right. And th was that Pox Walkers? A pile, a pox of pile walkers. <laughs> Polly pox of pile walkers. Pick the, pick the. Ooh, they are, cause he's dead, and they're zombies. They are Paul walkers. And they too believe in family. <laughs> That's the charge going off now. That will not make. Is it worth it? Let me work it. I put my thing down, flip it, and reverse it. Uh, demonettes fight first, and I forgot. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah that's right. That's what it is. Yeah. You're welcome. What can I say except you're welcome? Hopefully. <laughs> We're doing it! We're doing it! Yeah! Well... <laughs> When the shit goes down, you better be ready. He 
He forgot about his Terminators, didn't he? It doesn't. Barely, though. Spicy. <laughs> we're a little, we're a little too far for that. We're committed. Tyler can't figure out where he wants to fight first because he knows he's going to get interrupted for free and he just can't figure it out. That's fair. Uh, right. I'm about that corn life, man. Give me that extra strength. It's not great on the help route. Right. But the, the mark is each is real good on the help route. Well, they can't get the icon, right? So they just get the ignore damage, which is still really good. All right. Is this the do mortals strat, or is this just re-rolling hits? Okay. So he spent a CP to use his Harbinger strat, so his Poxwalkers get to reroll their hit rolls. Uh, and he's going to give them the great Nurgly Burgly. That's the technical term for it. <laughs> uh, I don't know if any of you out there watched Billy and Mandy in your youth, uh, but Nurgle actually existed in that cartoon. That was such a great cartoon. Should have used the Mortal Wound strat, you nerd. Was he fighting the Hellbrute? Yeah. Hey, he's still wounding on fives. <laughs> right. Uh, looks like one, two, three, four, five, six, six saves, three up on the Hellbrute. Uh, and he takes three. Yeah, you will. Roll the one. Whoa, he's got a wound left. Mordo McBordo. Yeah, but you also whiffed with the Hellbrute last time. Well, you get the mortals with him. That's fair. Right. <laughs> That's fair. You are re-rolling wounds to get mortals. We're just... Fishing for mortals. Da 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 da. Rerolling them all. And a mortal. Yeah. <laughs> he said. Bruh, bruh, bruh. Sound like those things from World of Warcraft. The little water dudes. I don't know. One damage each, right? After reduction. He's got two left. Oh, he's got two left. Swanging. Swanging. These are on fives again. Ah, uh, there's two mortals. Five wounds and four mortals on top. He's dead. And then Austin gets a command point. Uh, rise to glory, you score, which I'll pull up in a minute while you guys finish up your fight phase. Ooh. And I got a YouTube comment to look at. Somebody wants my thoughts, my opinion. 
He fought. So he pi he piles in, he then fights, and then he consolidates in that order. But now anything that was engaged with Mortarian that is no longer engaged doesn't get to activate the fight unless they're engaged with something else. Well, the Hellbrood will get to bonk. Right, because then you get to charge and shoot and do whatever. You got it. Uh, rise to glory. I think that's what it's called. Yep, rise to glory. Uh, you score two victory points for each character, right? And he had a wounds characteristic of eight, 10 to 19, so he gets three points. Uh... And Morty doesn't have the Titanic keyword, but he was your warlord, right? So you'll get five points for killing Mortarian on that one. But you didn't get anything for sow and reap, right? Because you had to roll into his leadership. But now he can't shut off your auras, correct? Ooh, I got somebody asking what I think about Corsairs inside of Tantalus. Uh, I'm going to answer that question here, but I will I will answer him later. Uh, Corsairs are pretty solid in Drukhari. Uh, they don't get the Witch Cult or uh, Coven keywords, uh, and they don't count as... Uh, what, what's the word I'm looking for? They, like, you can take them, they are troops... But they don't take up the troop slot for the mandatory troops, the compulsory slot. There we go. So you'd still have to take some witches or something with them. Uh, but they're really good. They basically have Hail of Doom baked in, so their hit rolls of six auto wound with their shuriken weapons. So I don't think it's a bad play. Like, that's a, just a very shooty unit inside the Tantalus. Uh, I'd have to look at points to give a more thorough thought on it. It is cool because it's like one of the only ways to get wizard spells into a Drukhari unit, but their spells don't really affect anything, if I remember right. I'll have to dig into that. That's a great question, and I'm, I'm excited to dig into that one. Uh, so maybe that'll be another video I do, in addition to the far-flung craft worlds, is how to use some of those, like, Kill Team Corsair guys a little bit to get them on the table, because they are cool models. My Corsairs actually ended up getting kitbashed into Witches, and mine will end up just being my Blood Brides. Because they got, like, the cloaks and stuff, and they look super cool. Uh, and it was like, I just like these models. And I have all the bits, so I can go back and I can put, like, my wizard staff on something later. And I might just get another box at some point. Uh, did the Hellbrute just fight? How many Poxwalkers did he kill? Five Poxwalkers down to the Hellbrute. Homeboy swinging thrice. Yeah, his spell went off, so it'll be fives. Yeah. They're T4 base. Yep. Ooh, spicy. What is he fighting? The Poxwalkers? You gotta roll two feel no pains for the Poxwalkers. Oh, okay. You made the mortal. I thought you said you made them both. Gotcha. Misunderstood. Yep. Alright, so at the bottom of Tyler's turn, uh, he did spread the sickness again, which I already I already got into his score, right? Uh, he didn't assassinate. Uh, and no prisoners will count up at the end. Uh, so that'll take us to morale phase. They're good. They're good. All right. Just the pox walkers. Yeah. Crunch. Uh, you control... 
two now, but that's still just eight. Uh, so you're going to go to 33 points. You still have two banners, so you're going to go to 35 points. And we are now in the assault uh, phase. So it's uh, pistols, melee, and what's the other thing that explodes? Assault weapons, yes. So the, the Land Raider's getting plus one to hit from the Warpsmith. Halbrute's getting plus one to hit. And, yeah, so like I said, well, while he's doing his movement phase, let's see. Um, I think this dude's going to come up. This is what I would do, probably, right? Because this can just clear out a bunch of that. These can tow on. Uh, there is a unit of Terminators we can't see back here. Uh, I will have that fixed by next week for stream. We are slowly making progress on everything. Yep, I'm glad. I'm glad to see the movement happening because you literally just followed every line I've drawn so far. <laughs> yep, I didn't get that far, um, but this is probably gonna head there and. Could be wrong on that one, uh, but I could see that, and then this kind of come in here to help clear it out because they are there. Uh, these are probably going to get ignored at this point. Nope, no, okay. So we could do that also. Oh, I forgot you had the duders in there. He's got duders. Duders coming to dude. Stuff. They're sun bubbing with the bub suns. Yeah, so. That's interesting. So they're here. Probably going to also do that. That's interesting. <laughs> I bet, man. So you're definitely falling back, uh, but I'm going to ask you why. Give me a second, because I want to I wanna have you mic'd oh, up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. My, my bad. He is not falling back. He's a vehicle. I keep forgetting that. They can torch those boys and then punch them. Okay. And it's one of those where I just wanted your logic on, because I was like, this is not what I thought you would do. <laughs> He burnt it all on his turn. Hot. He was doing the stanky leg. Interesting. Yep, so there's that. And then the Terminators are right here. Like I said, I'm sorry that they're cut off. Uh, when I went to set everything up, I didn't. I, I don't know because like I cropped everything down, but when I did it, it was just like, no, you don't get this little corner of the board. So I'll have to shift everything and, and realign it tomorrow or after stream today.
Uh, I think what I'll probably do, so I usually do a Friday morning stream, right? And my Friday morning streams usually talk about rules. Uh, he he uh, honestly didn't have one. He forgot that vehicles could shoot while they were engaged. Uh, but I that... Yeah, and for, well, let me rephrase. Forgot that the hell brutes were vehicles, so I didn't even get a chance to unmute him. I, I was like, I definitely want to know your reasoning, and he was like, Oh shit, no, hell brutes are vehicles. I don't need to fall back. Uh, but that was why he forgot that hell brutes are vehicles. It's not a unit that he takes very often, so it's one of those where, when you're not familiar with a unit, you forget what keywords they have. Uh, and had they not, had he not had the vehicle keyword, like let's say he had infantry or something and just couldn't shoot while engaged, then falling back wouldn't have been the wrong move. But because he can just shoot and then fight, like, yeah, there's no reason to fall back. So, uh, ghost to most, I hope that answered your question, my man, or lady, as it could be. Not to assume. I don't want to assume. I don't want to be presumptuous. Yes, I do. <laughs> Yeah, no problem. No problem. Um, sounds good. <laughs> this th this one right here is the one I'm really kind of boggled about because there's no reason to not do this unless there's something I'm not seeing. Uh, but I'm not looking at the table. I'm literally looking at the same screen you guys are. Uh, I can see the table, but it is at such a bad angle. There it is. There we go. This is exactly what I was just talking about. I like that you're right on cue. I appreciate that. <laughs> we about them girls gone wild. Why are you breaking stuff, dude? Yeah, I have. I used to have like, I used to have like 40 of them. I used to have so many demons. I don't know if you remember this. I had like 90 blood letters. Uh, the only thing, I didn't have a ton of Zinch, and I didn't have a ton of Nurgle, because all my Nurgle went to Matt. Uh, oh, I guess I could clear that off, too. Did they get to come in? No, I mean from like any, do you still get the any range rule? No, or is that your army wide? Yeah, okay. Yep. Yep. Right. No, you do get a lot of good synergies. And they're cheap, right? All right, so we're on to the whiz -whaz phase. So this. Did a hysterical frenzy. He failed it. Going to CP reroll. Is that an 11? No, it's a 6. Does that need a 7? The Mephitic Blight Hauler is the only thing that has an invuln that he has left besides Terminators. Okay. Yeah. Okay. He boxcars that deny. <laughs> We got oppressions coming over here. That does not go off. So that means it's F3. Oh, that was a flash of headlight to make it go. No, this is because I just rolled. Yeah, I'm looking at you. You might want to. <laughs> what do you want me to do? Make my shoot. All right, I'm going to go ahead and pull them off on mute while he walks through his shooting phase. Okay, we're going to go through. Start shooting. We're going to use our whip. You going to nay nay that stuff? 
First you whip, then you nay nay. And looking up the stats for the whip. Or we can hop in the Wayback Machine. And when a problem comes oh. along, you must whip it. Whip it good. Whip it <laughs> in the shade. Uh, all right, it's not on too late. Freeze. I'm really sorry for everybody that's watching. This no, is just not. who I am as a person. You're not sorry. Uh, and you get to endure it if you keep watching. <laughs> five, I imagine. Yes. Five. Now the key three. What are we? Oh my gosh. Take oh. One. Take two. Two. AP. Uh, neg one. Three up. Eight what up. are you uh, shooting? That was the um. Oh. The chariot gotcha. Whip and the boys over here. Gotcha. You know the whole thing that started the whip it thing. Yeah. No, I, <laughs> dude. Nope. <laughs> Once I'm on a tangent, that's it. <laughs> silly goober. Oh, that's why I was going to fall back was so that I could have other things shoot into that unit. Oh. That's what was going through my head. But, they're, yeah. they're but you're getting 2d6 auto hits anyway. Yeah. Yeah, yeah there's no point. Should be fine. It's actually better that you don't because I could potentially just kill it with, um, cut them down. Yes. I know. And I was going to see yeah. if you were going to bring me one. I was waiting back. for, like, you going to do it? Also might have been worth doing, but we'll see. Um, all right. Let's see. Oh, boy, here. He'll put... Can't shoot that. You can shoot that, though. I can shoot lots of stuff. Can't sit here. Seat's taken. Oh, okay. They are minus one to hit in melee. Melee. Yes. Correct. All right, let's blast And you're hitting on ones. threes because you're middle bracket plus one to hit. That is correct. And you're, are you in skew or non-stinky range? Uh, we will go ahead and put our... Bolter. Um, heavy bolters. Combi bolter. Havoc launcher. Mm-hmm. Kind of feels like a lot. And then the last cannons are going to go over here. Probably. So. Heckin' laser cannons. Havoc launcher. Uh, That's spicy. Four attacks. Looks like four, yeah. So he's got four okay. shots on the Havoc launcher. So basically, all the little shots are going here. All the big ones are One, two, three, oh, going four, here. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Hey, oh, I appreciate that. Two more attacks. That's okay. awesome. Uh, okay, one, two. Big shout out to Ghost of the Most gifting a tier one subscription T5. to FQDN. Uh, you're awesome, man. I uh, appreciate that. It's actually T5. Yeah. Let's give it's a big, bolt. big five. applause. Uh, bolt. Copy bolter. This is. Um. Maybe. Heavy bolters. We're gonna do a wog. I'm an orc player, so this is what you get to deal with. I'm glad that you think it's good content, man. I, I do. Uh, you know, I'm. We we just started. I've uh, been doing this less than six months for Twitch, and I've just constantly tried to improve, tried to improve, tried to improve. And I'm always open to suggestions, uh, whether it's for content or just how to make oh, my content on. better for the community. Uh, so again, like, appreciate it, and I will definitely be looking forward to seeing you more often. Is your med bracket? Uh, I got plus one oh, hit from Oh, oh, gotcha. Yeah. So, no, I'm not hitting on fours. Maybe one failed one? Okay. D6 plus two. Five uh, damage. would be five damage. But four. You know, I, I just so started doing the markups nine, to try to five. talk about what people are Maybe doing on their turn and try to show it to the viewers a little bit better. Um, double check, but pretty sure it's nine. And I am, I am constantly just like I said, like trying to do different things. I'll be picking up a third camera because right now my uh, we'll so so my board group. setup yeah, actually board uses two cameras, there. which is why you have the the two different colors on the board. Uh, and as nice. I get a replacement camera and I can have two of the same camera, Watch it should shots. fix the color differences. And then the third camera, I can Five start doing interviews three, with the players eight. and stuff. Oh, that's nice. Hey, that that's a great suggestion, and you're right. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm gonna let them do their thing now. One damage piece. Where uh, are we at, guys? Hockey. All right. Albert just torched the box walkers. Yep. Um, he rolled pretty shitty, and then got him back. Yeah, sure did. Just a whole lot of subpar shooting going on right now, as is tradition. Okay, we'll go ahead and go to. Disco Dave. Disco Dave. And he's going to torch that squad of hurt boys back there. Yep. With three shots. These are always a minimum three. On three. Yeah. Uh, two. Take two. Effectively one damage apiece. Actually. Hold on. They got with the plasma cannon before yeah. the plasma cannon. Oh. 
It's actually yeah. here. Sorry. Yeah, good point. Good point. Is that your sergeant you pulled? No, no, that's just a normal boy. No, the sergeant's the guy with the plasma gun. Oh, he is the plasma boy. Yeah. Right. He has a power fist, plasma gun, demonic blade. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, that just leaves the Zinch boys here. Uh, yep. This squad oh. is oh, going to open up there. I got a plasma pistol. It's wounds. Uh, two bolters. One hit. Fails mm -hmm. the wounds. Flamer. Six shots. Look for five. Uh, this is going to be wrapping up his shooting phase. He just did some flamers on those boys. Uh, but yeah, no, uh, like I said, I'm always always open to suggestions and ideas. And then uh, I do streams on Mondays and Fridays that are typically more like terrain or rules focused. It's not games. Uh, so definitely uh, feel free to check those out. Tomorrow we're going to be talking about Corsairs. Simply because I had somebody ask me about Corsairs in the Eldar Army and Drukhari. And if there are any way to really get any kind of usability out of them. So that's going to be the focus of tomorrow's stream. And then it'll just get ported over to my YouTube channel. Uh, which is just YouTube. Uh, it's just Phoenix Gaming Space on YouTube. So I think we're just about ready for the charge phase. So we got the Disco Lord here. Uh, he's going to charge here, here. Uh, these are going to probably come around here. Well, they can go through because this is this wall right here is breachable. And then these are going here. And that's just the really to keep the Hellbrood alive is what that's for. Or to make sure they die if he interrupts to kill the Hellbrood. Yep. And then, yeah, they are going right here. And he's got models right here on the wall, which is why he didn't have to cross through the wall. And then he's right here. Again, there's a unit of Terminators. You can see the Blight Haulers here. I don't, again, it's, it's a issue I need to. Uh, it's a 2,000 point match. Uh, they are following the Highlander format. Uh, and we're doing an old mission. It's uh, one of the early, early missions from this mission pack. Not this mission pack. One of the earlier mission packs. It's Surround and Destroy. Uh, and then we are going to start relatively soon here getting a second stream game in but it may not be 40k all the time the second game is going to be more along the lines of maybe some fantasy or kill team or even sigmar just just something to add some variety and get some different interactions going uh, but this was a 2000 point game and most of what we do is centered around the 2000 point mark simply because um, while we don't only do competitive games, everything we do comes from a competitive skew or standpoint. Uh, so while we do enjoy like fun and stuff like that, uh, a lot of what we do is, is kind of skewed towards that perspective. In addition, when we do the extra streaming, we may do some like crusades or some smaller things if it is 40k just to kind of open it up. So we'll have like a weekly comp game and then maybe like a weekly non 40k or non comp 40k. Uh, and that'll be coming in the next month or two here as we kind of prep what we're going to do for it. Correct. Uh, and that was part of it is that there is a Highlander tournament. So this is kind of a tournament prep for these guys as well. And if you don't know what Highlander is, it's a really neat format. Uh, instead of having a rule of three for data sheets, you have a rule of one. So except for troops and dedicated transports. So, like, you can only take one unit of Raptors in your Chaos Space Marines army, regardless of how many points it is, right? 
Um, but then if you have a thing like a Def Dread where you can take a unit of three, but they separate once they hit the table, you can still take one unit of three. They just turn into three units of one on the table. Uh, and you have to bring a patrol or a battalion. So again, it's it's one of my favorite formats because it's it you get a lot of weird, non-competitive meta lists, and you do a lot of you get to see a lot of different things. So it's gonna be pretty cool. What are you doing? Uh, his upgrade is a four up. I thought. Oh, okay. Oh, right on. So, so you know Austin then? Oh no. Oh, right on. It's uh he's Yep, yep. They are trying to big brain what's going on. With, I assume, the Demon Prince. So, he finished charging. Uh, this guy did heroically intervene into the Demon Prince. Uh, so, this guy fights last, so he can't interrupt, right? Uh, well, that's fair, but... So, you're st starting on the Terminators? So the first fight. They it and it does. It cuts down on some of the like hyper busted spamming cheese that you get at like regular tournaments. Uh and it, it again, you get a good mix of casual and competitive players at Highlander events. And I try to run two to three events every year that are kind of like off meta just to kind of mix it up because if it's always just the same tournament format all the time you're going to only get the same players you're not going to have a lot of variety and it's going to make your community get kind of stagnant or stale and my goal is to just try to keep things as fresh as I can for everybody what did you just kill a terminator Oh, the demonettes killing Terminators. Hey, did it die? Oh, all right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But he didn't have one wound left, did he, Tyler? <laughs> So he did kill two Blight Lords uh, with some Demonettes. And now the Chariot's going to bonk. Uh, I mean, it's not bad, Tyler. It's got a Combine in the front of it. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. I was thinking of the other one. Yeah, yeah. It hurts you before it hurts you. God, it's like all my ex-girlfriends. They hurt me before they hurt me. He's going to ravage him with claws first. So Tyler doesn't have the CP to interrupt because he tried to CP bomb in his last turn. Uh, yeah, but you spent like five command points in one turn. Oh, sorry, four. Four. Uh... And I don't know that it was worth it. Yeah. 
Oh, my God, he's going to get him with the old lick of tongue. That's a Pokemon. Yeah. Two wounds. Can he kill one? Reroll real quick. What's the rent? Oh, okay. How many died? Two? It's gonna feel real bad when you pick some up the leadership, Tyler. They're like Neg Bajillion. No, they're not. Uh so, so battle ready for, uh, or table ready or whatever it's called right now is base coats. Like you don't have to have shading or highlighting and then some kind of basing. Even if your basing is just rimmed and painted, you don't have to have it like finished, finished, but just something. So it's not just a black base or just like paint splatter bases, but it does need some sort of basing done. What's fighting now, Austin? Demonettes. So we are now... Uh, right here, right? Uh, and they'll, they'll put some hurting on them. That's a lot of wounds, actually. Thirteen more? Right. Yeah, that was one of the biggest changes to demons that felt really weird. Was that you can't take big units of them anymore. Because he fights first. Uh, your sixes explode, buddy. Well, that's fair, but you get one back. On twos, you say? Twos, yeah. Uh, so, Hellbrute just crumped. And then this is going here. Here. Without getting... That's so we get that and that to try to force this failed leadership is what it's for. But you did exactly what I thought you would do. And don't forget your plus one to wound if you've got his leadership down. Should be eight. Is it Pox Walkers? Oh, no, theirs is an eight. Theirs is like six or something stupid because they just don't roll leadership checks. Uh, yeah, so you're always plus one to wound. <laughs> right, but that's that's hilarious. Right. Uh, yeah, he knows. I just don't think he cares. Uh, he just rolled three sixes and a one for his hit rolls, just so everybody knows. I don't know what that face is, but I don't like it, Kyle. What is this? Ah, it's the what face, but it's, uh, it, it looks disgusting, like it's melting or something. I don't enjoy it. Get it off my screen, please. Delete that. Be gone. <laughs> it's, it's rude, friend. <laughs> uh, sixes explode, Austin. You had two of them. 
some fours. So you literally can't, right. Uh, that that disco lord or the demon prance. All right, so we are right here. We got mecha dendrites here and everything else here. Decamendrites. And he re-rolls his wounds. He's really just fishing for sixes anyway. The claw. What's his leadership right now? Oh, yeah. Um, I'll just be the... What's the range off your demonettes? Uh, yeah. Uh, Imagine knowing your rules, guys. <laughs> so you should be plus one to wound. Yeah. Uh, I love sixes explode as a mechanic. I'm going to just start finding ways to play it in every army I play. Not that I don't already. My fives. What's the strength? Uh, six, six. So you're fours, because you're plus one to wound. Oh. You had two fours. You had two fours. Oh, yeah, yeah, That's fair. I'm just letting you know. We just talked yeah, about this. Sorry, no, What's the rend? Uh, two. Six. Oh, yeah, I like it. I love getting the sound effects. He said. There we go. <laughs> Aww. All right. Four, uh, eight. Okay, and then roll again against his leadership of four. Uh oh, five. All right, so you get one more for sow the seed, reap the fear. More gooda. Okay, so we're now moving over to the demon prince, which is this handsome lad right here, and. That's what's happening right there. We all know it. We love it. We hate to see it. That's right. It's ty It's typhoid Mary. Yes, the important attacks first. This to the relic. Yeah, he was asking what it was. Yep. Hundred percent hit rate. Exploding sixes for the win. Ain't that right, Kyle? Woo! Probably nine minus your bonus. Six. Six, which you need him at five, right? Yeah. 
He's definitely nine. <laughs> God dang. Uh, roll that leadership. Which six. Should be six, right? You say he's minus three? Yeah. So you got another one. Uh, and then you get two points for uh, Rise to Glory. I like exploding sixes. I don't know. I really want to play the Witch Cult that gives me exploding sixes. But I have to give up all the cool things that I already get in order to get exploding sixes. And the only thing I get with it is five up against mortals. And I really enjoy that my saves of a six are a mortal back to you mechanic. Like, that, that is so funny. Witches are so funny with that. No, exactly. Just the save alone is so hilarious. Just being able to be like, ah, I'm going to punish you for playing the game. <laughs> it is. I, I laugh, right? That's what's, what's important. I usually get, like, one good turn with it a game, right? Like, somebody will smack into some witches, and I just get a spicy save roll once per game. And it's not even that I kill something important. It's just the look of terror that people get when I'm like, oh, here's three mortals back to you for hurting me. Joke's on you. I'm into it. Plague. Uh, that was here into the demonettes, just so everybody knows. Oh, terminators into demonettes. Sorry. Uh, so it's it's up here. Spend that two CP. No. Oh. P. Where are you fighting? The rhino. Okay. Right the rhino. The the term the uh, predator that is yeah. oh. st still in the shop. It's getting its turret worked on. And then we're here now. One four up. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. Damage is two? Yep. Okay, so you take two. Uh, Down to seven. Knife, I hit one. Nothing. Um, these boys over here, the demonettes. Uh, power fist. Hits. Twos. Two wounds. Two guys? Okay. Knives, full beans. Um, that's all. Hey. All right. Girls ain't dead yet. All right. Important one. I need a one. Didn't get it. I'm Pretty okay. rude. I'm okay with it. I'm sure you are. 100%. One left uh, all right, Tyler, where's your next uh, leadership? Those girls lost two. Leadership eight. They're fine. Uh, I think that's yeah. it. Do you have uh, any leadership? leadership? Yeah. Right they here? lost one. They're minus two, two so right minus now. three, I need a five. We're good? Mm -hmm. Them, same. What's the minus four? Minus they are minus four. So minus four, leadership eight, so I need a five again. Um, hmm? Their leadership what? Minus four, they're leadership eight. So, four. Yeah, I made and it. And you lost two? Yeah, I made it. Okay, yeah, two would have been. Yeah. Uh, them boys over there, they're leadership minus one. So they're minus, minus one, yeah. So, so minus they're... three, leadership nine, so fail. Mm-hmm. Or leadership eight. I don't know. 
They're not in. Yeah, yeah something like that. Probably. They're high. They're Terminators. Um, I can't fill anywhere else, so we're good. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so at the end of the turn, you're going to score four points for Sow the Seed, Reap the Fear. Yep, yep, yep. And then you're going to score two more for Rise to Glory yep, yep, yep. for a total of six more points, mm -hmm. which will put you at 41. Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to move into the bottom of three. And Tyler, how many objectives do you control now? Those. So 32. Really, it's going to be a real close game because we don't have the no prisoners points added in right now. Mm -hmm. uh, and he's only nine points behind you. Yeah. And he's doing pretty good on the no prisoners. Part. Well, he's taking out all my demon eggs. I don't like that. Uh, I think it's rather rude. Um, but it is what it is. For some reason, I thought that was a dude with a cape under there. <laughs> no. I'm going to leave. just uh, ramping up over this yeah. berm. I'm going to leave you guys with them for just a minute. Uh, I've got to go check on a few things, and I'll be right back. Um, oh, I gained some tea. Yep. Oh, yeah, I got to get my tally now. Mm-hmm. Okay. okay. Um, then I'm going to go ahead and uh, keep them on the objective. Mm-hmm. Uh, these boys will just pop down. That's literally as far as they can literally go. They're slow as fuck. Mm-hmm. Is this one of Terminators? One of boys. Oh, okay. I want to get a unit of just a... Instead of just a bunch of Poxwalkers, I just want to get a bunch of Plague Marines. Yeah, I think that's a valid strategy. Plague Marines are a pain to get rid of. That damage reduction's a big deal. Until it doesn't. <laughs> a one model in the <laughs> army does it. I've given you shit Just like it. Alex's commander in the... Crisis suit or whatever the hell he is. I don't care about Cold that. Cold Star Commander with the stupid Meg 7. You don't get to make a model have to save anyway. <laughs> yeah. I don't like that thing either. There's uh, lots of things I don't like. I think that's really much it for my movement because I'm pretty much table. Uh, we'll yeah. see. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, psychic. I'm mm -hmm. going to go ahead and cast Smite over here. All right. Fine. We'll try to deny it. He'll protect himself. He Cuts does. It down with a ten. That's unfortunate. So what's the other one? I think he has the thing that uh. Is it like? I I'll look here in a minute. Yes, that is the one I want to do. Okay, we're gonna go and do plague wind as well. No. Uh, that's unfortunate. That's literally all my psychic I had left. I only had the two psychers. I had the, uh, sorcerer and party. Mm hmm Pipe has decided to not exist anymore. Yeah, no, he still there. He was himself. Yeah, I know. I'd do that myself. He was going to get charged anyway. Next turn. I was either picking this up instantly. Mm hmm Or I'd rather do that instead because it is literally the one thing I can deal with that and any of this, that's the only thing that can deal with it oh, outside of those. Yeah. They're the frontal assault. I know. Everywhere. They, I have, know. they have to move. If they're not moving, they're not doing their job. Mm-hmm. Uh, plasma pistols, you're not engaging them with? They're not engaged, no. Okay. They couldn't make it far okay. enough. Plasma pistol overcharge. Why not? Into the demon ads? Yep. All right. <laughs> That's why not. <laughs> One wound. All right, four up. Hey, I rolled a six. Oh, yeah, I thought it'd be a five up in one or a six up. It's a four up from ranged attack. Five up from melee attack. They're basically the same. Yes. Unless I give him Strogus of Eternal Hate. But as long as Disco that Dave's sounds on, awesome. As long as Disco Dave's on the table, uh, he's the one that's good at that. I wish the Death Guard Demon Princes were like that. So a two up save is minus three, still drops me to a four up save. Anything else? Else? Well, it's a neg three. So in the power fist, I was debating whether I trying to figure out whether or not I got the. Uh, he's effectively got armor of contempt still. Oh okay. Because he's got a one up save mm -hmm. from Grogus. Believe you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey man, 
I'm giving you I'm shit, sorry buddy. you picked Death Guard, bro. That's okay. I was actually <laughs> For gonna... some reason, I just feel like... I was going to go Alpha Legion. Alpha Legion's cool. Ish. Yeah, because, you know, Alpha Legion... No, no, no. These yeah, are they're Alpha Lords. Legion. Shut these up. They're all Night Lords. You can say what they're you want. They're supposed to be they're... Ultramarine Blue. They're pretty Night Lords. If they were Ultramarine Blue, they would look even better. What? The Night Lords? Yes. Uh, no. I would like you a lot more. Well, I don't care. You see these lightning bolts in the tank? Yeah. I could just say their warp energy are cracks. Mm-hmm. They're not. No. No, 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 no quite. No, I, I refuse to believe that. Anyway, everything's good from the um, Blight Haulers. Also, the, uh... <laughs> All right, so still minus one to hit because he's in the terrain feature. Mm-hmm. It does not matter. All right. <laughs> on fives. Mm-hmm. Cool beans. Nice. Cracks. T9 coming into play big time. Cool. Um, I'm all right with that. Um, everything going there, hitting on threes. <sighs> hitting on threes. I ignore the penalty. You ignore the penalty. There's nothing I can do about it. <laughs> Because he's a monster, not an infantry. Otherwise, I could use my fancy night lords. Everything, track. but the havoc launcher. Mm-hmm. I ignore the heavy penalty for it. <laughs> anyway, I, combi melta. I feel for you, bro. Hey, that's enough to do it. One one. Four up. Gonna CP reroll that. They're gonna make it. Not oh. today. Eight damage? Seven damage. Seven damage. Not quite enough to kill him. I guess, yeah, you couldn't have smoked him in one shot anyway. I could have. No, because he's got nine wounds. Oh, true. Er so I'll take that. Yeah, he's got nine. All right, let me double check that. But um, It might be eight wounds. I think and he the might Death Guard be, one is. Because, yeah, let me double check it. Uh, it is eight wounds. He's down to one wound left. Yeah, I was real worried. Like he's still alive, so we're all good, bro. Anything else this piece of junk got? I mean, I could throw my combi. I did. I mean, I would have hit with the last one, so. Sure. Full gun. Okay. Doesn't mm -hmm. matter. Um. He did his thingy. He can't shoot. Uh, he can't shoot. Nothing can shoot. Everything is terrible. I hate my life. Um. I'm gonna go ahead and go to charging. These Plague Marines are going to go ahead and charge your boys. They're going to set defense. No, you're not. I refuse. Watch me go. All right, you probably will. I might have not made that, actually. Six? That's pretty close. To get it right there in the wall. Yeah, that'll, that'll get him in. So all I have to do is control the objective in order to draw the banner? Yeah. Uh, n Yes. If there's no models on it, I think is how that's worked. Stop. Um, fuck that. What? Um, Come on over, bro. The water's fans. You have Uno CP? I do have one CP. I'm going to try to force you to blow it. That's actually... I need a 12. Yeah, I was going to say, could you charge him through the terrain? Would you like to? I want to, but I know better. I'm going to laugh if I make this. Mm -hmm. Not even close. No. It was worth a shot. Mm -hmm. Hey, what's up? I gotta get my digital code. Oh. What's up? What was the question? About banner. Oh. I'm gonna look it up in a little bit. Oh, did they delete all the past GTs? Oh, yeah. I don't have my free code yet. Wahapedia. Is the answer. All right. On to the fight phase. Unfortunately. Hey, your tank's fighting last. Who would have thought? <laughs> I'm not really worried about that. <laughs> Just uh, so you know. Uh, you don't have anything else that has fight last, right? I mean, uh, nothing literally made a charge, so it don't matter. I'm in that case. I'm well. Those boys charge. Other than that, I'm, nothing. I get to pick my first fight. Yeah. Uh, and the demon prince and. Uh, Disco Dave fight before everything else does because they're still in fight first. Yep. I know how that works. Alright, let's punch you right in the face real quick. 
Because we don't have the, I mean, obviously. Yeah. 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 One wound. One wound. Any AP? I agree. No power fist. Yeah, I agree. That's a sick up save. One boy dies. Uh, we'll just tank it on. That's the flamer boy. We'll tank it on this dude over. Nah, we'll get rid of the flamer. We don't need him. His time is done. Use of a knife. Pick the fours. Yep. All right. AP? Actually, no, threes, so one more. Okay. Because you're... Yeah, minus one toughness. Uh, uh, just one. No, five. Five. Neg one? Yeah. Uh, four up. Mm -hmm. Hey, that killed another one and a half. Yeah, sure did. Take that, you son of a bitch. Get me to keep pulling wound dice out of my box over here. Good, I'm making you freaking roll that dice, baby. Uh, so... One will die, and that will be, and that one wound is on the other chain sword boy. What you meant, cheese sword? I was really hyper. <laughs> I will go ahead and pile in while consolidate. All okay. right, my fight first. We'll go ahead and swing with uh, Disco Dave over there. Mm-hmm. Mechadendrite starting to show out, hitting on twos. Yep. All of them hit, and I pick up an additional one. Let's go, Dave. Hey, I got you. I'm just going to do you a favor. You can pull them, absolutely. You're um, going to kill them. What's their leadership? Was it eight? Uh, they're eight, so minus, yeah, eight. So, six? I got to be the six? I did. Come there's on. A, there's a point <laughs> oh, for... Oh, uh, I there for a minute. A uh, point for... So that you can clear. Yep, and then you just fight with all your Slamesh stuff. Um, and he is going to... Consolidate into the, uh... Turn. <laughs> I mean, he's not scary. And intimidate him. He's not scary. Like, he has, like, four attacks or like that. He has no melee Yeah, profile. but I'm not going to give you free damage on me whenever it's my turn next anyway. I mean, if I do damage with him, I'll be surprised. Uh, Demon Prince, swanging. Six attacks plus two is eight attacks from the claw. It's definitely getting something. Ugh. I just had a big rules question while they're doing that. And uh, so I, I play Yanari and Drukari. Like, I, I like elves and I like orcs, right? So I had some dude reach out to me and he was like, hey, uh, this guy told me I get these rules. In Yanari, and I was just like, no, you don't. Oh, there it is. I gotta find. I have to find. I did a video about Yanari, and I did a real big breakdown on it. And this guy is trying to tell him he gets a bunch of rules and keywords that he doesn't actually get, and it's such a weird and bizarre interaction. What you got? Uh huh. Uh, I'd have to look at sow the seed, reap the fear. Let me pull up because it depends on when it happens. Okay, I have a plan. Let's destroy that thing. Yeah. Chaos Space Marines. So, so the order of operations is going to be, it dies, you roll to see if it explodes, it stays on the table, you resolve the explosion, casualties from the explosion are removed, then the model's removed, and then it counts as being destroyed. Gotcha. Just like if there were guys inside the transport. Yep. So you're going to get three points. Three points for Rise to Glory. Did you roll for Sow the Seed, Reap the Fear also? Okay. Yeah. 
and you got that. Uh, and I got Toad Stadium here against those other um, Toad Stadiums. So you got five more points on that. Which is that one capped? Probably it would. It would put Toad Stadium power. No, that one's not capped. No, it's the other one that's capped. Uh, Rise to glory. Tongues, all hit. And we got two more saves from the licky tongues. One does some damage. Ah, uh, he gets licked got for a damage. That, uh, <laughs> got him in his no no space. Uh, all right, your the, turn. What's the toughness on those? Uh, toughness on that. Yeah. Hit him with that slurp McGurp. What's fighting right now? Oh. Five four ups. It's turn three, bro. It's turn three. Yep. He gets to re-roll all his ones. <laughs> three. <laughs> One. It's just like a power axe. You're welcome. I've never get to actually fight with Terminators ever, so. Oh, that's fair. No. Yeah, you didn't have them last game that you fought. Uh, 19? Did I miss the stack out? Probably. I mean, there's some in the box, right? I thought I pulled all of them out. It's floating. Yeah, there's 19 of them. I'm sure it's floating somewhere. Probably on the ground somewhere, something like that. Somewhere, something. And I did not poop this turn, so no pooping. And then the other two hit rolls. That's what he said. That's what we do, man. How many? Uh, this many hits. Looking for five to wound. Huh? So one. Oh. Two. Two. One died. That was weird. Uh, over here, but did they already fight? They did. Uh, they did because they were Yeah, you got your boys to fight back over here. Yeah. Yeah, you started with them. Yep, I figured. I was like, why do they exist at the moment? Um, Harvest, Bull Beans, uh, 
knives. Bits. Oh. Oh, hold up. Play weapon. Do it. One dies. Oh, yeah. Slightly uglier. Oh gosh, that's so rude. <laughs> well, is, I it mean, the, is it the one with the ponytail? Uh, yeah, she's got a, like yeah. a yeah. very short ponytail and like most of her head shaved. Anyway, uh, we'll go ahead and have these boys pile in and fight. Mm -hmm. Uh, the boss with his four attacks. Boss, this is powerful. On twos? No, he doesn't have powerful. He's got the demon blade. Uh, on twos. Everything hit? No explosion. Yeah, straight. Um, strength four. Uh, and their leadership is eight minus two, six. Not quite enough for me to do anything cool. Uh, so five to win. One. Got one. Yay. We're good. Yep. Wait. It's Let me just double check my. Is it power fist? No, oh, it's the, the demon blade. Oh, it's probably neg one. I think it's neg two two damage. I think it's neg two two damage as well. Probably. <laughs> it sure is. All right, so it's just fucking flat knife. Uh, yeah. Gotta yeah. Gotta mute Tyler for and a minute. Then... <laughs> he said, "I think it's neg one," and I said, "I think it's neg two two damage," and he's like, "Yeah, I think it is." <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> What's your leadership debuff total? It, which is it? Cause, okay, if it's minus three, you can technically fail. <laughs> which you've, you've already... You've capped Rise to Glory for the battle round. Because that one's five per battle round. Okay. So. Where am I at on Rise of Glory? Uh. Five. Because you got five in your turn. And it's five per battle round. You didn't get any turn one. Oh. So I've only got five so far for Rise of Glory. Uh. Oh. You know what? No. Because you killed more Terry in turn two. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, no. So you're going to have ten on it. Because you'll get five okay. this turn. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Because that's what I'm saying. Yep. No, you're fine. Alright. How many objectives do you control? Is it more? Uh, so you get... 12 points, which will put you at 63. And then, do you control... You don't control any in his backfield right now, but that one we score at the end of the turn. <laughs> and you have two banners right now? 65. Uh, and then... Yeah. All right. But yeah, so while he's doing his movement phase and such, uh, I guess one of the guys on my team, Zach, you know, he, he plays Space Wolves and he plays Eldar, and he's been kind of looking at Yanari a bit. Uh and he was like, hey, did you know you could get this and do this and do that? And I'm like, no, you can't. <laughs> and he was just like, what? <laughs> and I was just like, no, that's that's not at all how that works. I know that's how it looks like it works. Um, but, but you don't get almost anything in that army. It's why it's so hard to play. 
Uh, what he was talking about specifically was like I could take a Shadow Seer, and then my Shadow Seer Harlequin spells affect all my Yanari keyword guys. And I was like, nope. Because you don't actually replace the keyword. You lose the keyword and you add a keyword. And because you don't gain a bracket is really how it breaks down, you don't get the bracket keyword stuff. So literally your Shadow Seers can't do anything because they lose the Sadith keyword and then they can't affect anything. Like, like it, it, well, technically, they don't even lose the sated keyword on that trigger is really, it's, it's super weird. And I let him know, I was like, hey man, I did a whole video on this, sent him the link. I'm like, I'm not going to have time to break it down for you. It is a lot to absorb, but here's a 20 minute video that explains why that's not right. Because technically, Yanari, rules as written, can't even use the craft world secondaries because they don't have a bracketed craft world keyword. And that's, that's what it boils down to, is they don't get the bracket keyword. It's kind of like how Abaddon doesn't have a Legion keyword. He just has the Black Legion keyword. Same kind of concept. So they never actually have a bracketed selectable keyword. And because they don't have the bracketed selectable keyword, they miss out on a lot of the things that most armies would actually get. And it's, it's a super bizarre interaction. Uh... And it's one of those where I understand why your initial thought is this is how it should work because it would make sense. Like, But because you don't technically replace it, you lose it and you gain it, uh, it, it really drastically alters the way it gets played. So I sent him the link to the video and I was just like, hey man, like I've sat down and I've talked to the GW rules team about this. I've sat down and talked to GW judges about this. This is where everybody's at. Now, if they rule it differently at their tournaments, that's on them. But I'm telling you, if you go to a GW event, this is how it's going to be ruled. <clears throat> what a bizarre, bizarre army. Okay. Uh, Picking up. That's only one in range. Mm -hmm. okay. okay, that's shut down. Uh, who else do I have? That's oh, the demon prince. He's gone. Yeah, he doesn't. Okay, exist. so that's it. Um, shooting phase. He was banished back to the warp. And in my movement phase, I want to care if I heal my tank, <laughs> which I forgot sure. to do last turn. Two. There we go. Top I bracket again. I have nothing else that can physically kill him outside the toy hauler now. All right. Um, he's just gonna dump everything he's got into those terminators. Figure that in. Uh, havoc launcher. Six shots. Out of the way. Three hits. Of course. Uh, four shots. Two. Cannibal. Heavy bolter. Uh, three, neg one. Those two? Yep, one is. One is the one left. What about the last damage? Combi bolter. That hit. That's a wound. Okay. Last guy. Uh, one miss. We're gonna re-roll that one because I got some CP now. There we go. That hit. On threes. Look at three. Okay. Uh, that's my bad. Three. Like two go through. One died. Mm hmm. And the other one. It was a four up invuln. A four up invuln. Yeah. What terminators are those? They're blight lord terminators. They're. Bullshit term. I've <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. just been failing a lot of saves over there, so it hasn't really mattered. Yeah. 
All right, well, that's unfortunate. Uh, yep. He's going to torch those boys because it's funny. Can uh, I say I have cover? Yeah, sure. All okay. right, I have cover then. Yeah. I think you're okay. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, eight from this one. No, four. Uh, re-rolling one. He is re-rolling one. That's good. I'm getting mad. That's hot. He made him mad himself. Uh, no. What, by charging Morty? Yes. Fair, I suppose. Eight? No. Uh, ten. Ten for your face. I'm sorry. He was supposed to be dropping a banner, and they were dropping a banner. It was the the possessed. The, yeah. Oh man, they can't charge this turn then. No, they can't. But they probably don't need to. I hope not. Yep. Uh, <laughs> or Disco Dave will have to have a stern talking to. Speaking of which, you know he's gonna torch that dude. Oh, that's kind of rude. Uh, seven shots. Three. That many wounds. Um, six, neg two, two damage a piece for what it's worth. Got him. Uh, do your thingy. No, it's only a melee. Oh. All right. Um. Yup. Yup. I think. Oh yeah. Thanks. Uh, Pistol. he's gonna plasma pistol those boys, Give and he'll supercharge it because it's boy. funny. Kill yourself. Don't actually. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Flat. All right, that was a little rude. <laughs> uh, you have bull pistols in there. Not in that squad. Oh, was that the last boy? <laughs> that was, but I think yes. <laughs> three, four, that was the last one with. Uh... Damn, the sights are still in range. If I can't hit him with everybody else. Um. Yeah, that's it for shooting. On to the charge phase. Uh, Disco Dave's gonna charge your boy over there. I'm gonna overcharge with my plasma pistol. You're welcome to do it. What are you charging, Austin? Uh, Alright, so we're going right here. These boys put a banner down so they don't get to charge, which means this guy, every god dang time, he's probably going to roll that one. Swinging the demon blade. Five hits on four attacks. Uh, you're not plus one to wound. Yep. <laughs> so 
12 attacks. Threes and fives. Ooh, that was good. Yeah, because it was cocked. It was on the terrain. Five neg ones. So we're going to do this fight here. And he's just dumping everything there. He's that disco inferno. <laughs> Tyler said, I'm just going to pick him up. <laughs> the mecha dendrites gave him the mecha doo doo touch. <laughs> uh, so so that's two points right there for Rise to Glory. Roll against his leadership, please. Uh, that'll beat it because he's minus two, right? Okay. So we got another one there. You're welcome for that burp in your ear also. Sorry. <laughs> two points for Rise to Glory. A what? Oh. Yeah, that's right. I do get to. Is he still engaged? Yeah. Oh, gotcha. I didn't realize he was still in engagement range. Yeah, yeah. I'm just saying, like, from my perspective, it looked like when he removed casualties, he pulled that unit completely. Gotcha. Gotcha. So there was a lad right here that was still engaged. That's what did it. Any AP? Yes. Did you already use your Zinch thing on them? Yeah. I think of a while ago we might have had it all. I was so stupid then you needed time to grow. Oh, yeah, sorry guys. <laughs> <laughs> Is that the end of your turn, Austin? Yeah. All right, so you got two points for Rise to Glory and another point for Sow the Seed, Reap the Fear. Can he fail leadership there? Uh, he's lost. Uh, not with that. Uh, and can his Terminators fail leadership? They lost one. They lost one. Okay. So you got three more points. You got. You still have two objectives, Tyler. So we don't have Tyler's no prisoner points factored in yet, but without those no prisoner points, we're looking at Night Lord 68, Death Guard 40 at the bottom of four. And his no prisoner points, he could only score 10 total anyway. So he's maybe around 45 without counting them out right now. Because they're, they're, they're still easy to pick them up. Right. 
Yeah, that, that's what I mean. Is like like you hit like a Drukari or a Craft World army where it's like here's just a bunch of neg one, neg two, one damage attacks. Yeah. All right, uh, Hurt. Can... Heard you can't go make them all. Hey Kyle, Kyle, are you watching? Still, Kyle. I'm gonna keep saying Kyle until you answer me, Kyle. Kyle, are you still watching? Hey, guess what, Kyle? <laughs> guess what, buddy? You can't make them all. <laughs> Words to live by. <laughs> That's why I love plasma so much. It's so much more volume. Thirty-one damage attacks are better than one thirty damage attack. They're just rolling around with double stinky blicky. Alright. <laughs> Good talk. Nope. They're T9, son. T9. That's why I like slamming the succubus into him. <laughs> I, 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 it's one of those where like, I've gone whole games where she's never rolled a hit roll of six, but every time I smack into a land raider, it's just like, all right. Well, I'm going to go kill myself. Uh, I just unmuted. In time for you to say that. Thank you, Tyler. You are welcome. Um, so anyway, about that. Seven wounds. Neg two. Two damage apiece. forgot that was a thing that existed. Torch. They charged Disco The Disco Jade. Lord. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Disco Inferno, you know? <laughs> you just don't get it. Is that it? <laughs> That's, yeah, he doesn't have any other guns. Oh, he right. might have another gun, but I don't know. We're not doing this today, so we're just going to do this. We're not doing that. Nope. For, forbidden. Uh, how many wounds does that thing have left? It's got three. You are well within reason to kill it. Does he have the flail by chance? No, he just has an axe. Is he a character? It is a character. I have to at this point. Yep. It's the thing to do. I wasn't even able to worry about charging. Um, so fighting, is that fight first or is this fight first? That fight's first, this is not. Alright, cool, we're gonna go ahead and blow all my CP because it's funny. The reroll field hits, sixes, stupid <laughs> morals and shenanigans. <gasps> all into Disco Dave? All in Disco Dave. Oh no. We are fishing for mortals today. He does that every day. Oh, I'm going to do it today. We're just gonna reroll everything because it's funny and I don't care. I wanted to paint him up all disco light. But then I was like, I really like my color scheme, too. <laughs> Perhaps one day I'll get around to doing Three it. mortals, none to myself. Proper Disco Dave. Three mortals, you say? Yep, that's it. That's a little oh, weird. Oh, I have to actually roll the rest. Three mortals. Okay. I want uh, a bunch of threes to hit. Uh, you're fine. You want to drop him three points? Uh, I'll go ahead and spend my two CP ah. to interrupt. Swing with the... This flying lady over here. We'll start with the tongues, because... No, 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 no. Yeah, no, we want to soften it up first. Uh, so, the tongue attacks on twos. All those hit. Uh, looking for fives, though. How about you take one? How about now? Would have been cool. Alright, and then the other eight attacks. Oh, seven attacks. Good. Looking for fives. Good. We need all of these to get us through. Would be nice. Uh, I will only get the one, though. So it's neg two. Takes it. Take that with your four up and bone. I just did. I've been failing all of them over here. 
So you're saying there's a chance. Okay, Disco Dave's going to go ahead and hey, fight. Hey, no, I get to fight. You uh, know guess there. who has the fight first keyword, bro? Who? who? Yeah. But it's his turn in the priority. It That's is. why he interrupted. We've been through this. Yep. You know how this game because works. Because the 2CP interrupt doesn't actually enter you into the priority. It's just a, I get to do it now, and Not then fair. he gets to take his normal selection. You Not made fair. your choice. Mechadendrites. Oh, I'll just pick him up. I ain't okay, about it. That's fine. <laughs> Uh, what's, their, what's their leadership? Uh, four, just, you just, said? Just roll it. So minus two? You made it. <laughs> I'm going to talk shit and then roll a two. <laughs> <laughs> so I get some Seed Reaper Fear there. Then they're done that. Yup. Actually, our game's the exact. The last one. Yeah. So yeah, I know. <laughs> Alright, now you get swing. Fucking 100% hit. Exploded all of this shit. Just fucking whip. Mm-hmm. That do be how it does. One. One. So you're saying there's a chance. Oh, he does take, or, yeah, she, she, it, she takes it the takes one. It, 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 it's full. I don't know what the name means. Yeah, it's only got one boob. Um, <laughs> 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 but we can, we can say the Seekers have a gender. <laughs> they gotta breed somehow. Anyway. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Yeah, this is I think way. that's it. Hey, I control one of us in the deployment zone. Whoa. You do, but you don't control your two. You need both of yours and one of his. Yeah. We have not been playing the mission because... i just been fucking just running at you like a... Alright, so they're going to wrap up their turn four. Uh, I've... I've already got Austin's uh, Sow the Seed, Reap the Spear, although he might actually get a little bit more here. Definitely the work of a flamer. Alright. <clears throat> Try not to cough in everybody's ear. Because it's rude, Tyler. That's why he's muted. Yep. Me too. Yeah, yeah. All right. <coughs> Leaderships. How many banners do you control right now, Austin? Uh, so you'll get three more points for banners. How many objectives do you control? All right. So seventy-nine. 83, 86, 1, 2, 3, 4, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, See where they're right, at. So five of but that's a command phase, he's gonna heal this tank. He's like the only terminator in this army without like a four of invulm. Uh as much as I wanna have her fall back, I think we can get that. I got you guys unmuted again while you kind of work out what you're doing here. So he would come out here. Mm 
which should give me line of sight yep. for smite. And he can't deny, so who knows? There's no way he can get there. Not um, even with a flamer. No. It was mine. No, they're way out of Nine. range, too. Yeah, they're not going to be able to make that charge. Hell yeah! Uh, but we got to get rid of Am that I back boy. up now? And also, if you don't kill him... Man, we were doing so good. No issues for a mm -hmm. long time. Alright, cool. Well, we're, we were doing good. Up and does it. Or something like that. I don't know what it is. Alright, so what we're going to do with the tank gun... Minus two, so... Roll up and over this. Roll up. Autobots. Roll out. Assemble. Dun, dun, dun. Ba, dun, 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 dun. Uh, so I'm give him a four inch move, which would still be pretty ridiculous. Hey, I'm okay. I killed the demon prince. I lived my life properly. I tried to play assassinate. It's always been a trap. Uh, oh, you did kill him. I need to give you three more points. Yeah. Was that your warlord? No. Alright. <laughs> He's his warlord. I don't. Oh, no, no, he is. That's the warlord. Yeah, I just I'm not about to put a <laughs> unit out there that's going to score extra points for him just because. Oh, um, I did. Absolutely. That's what I do. So He's going to get fucking targeted anyway, so I might as well I shouldn't have you. had those demonets <laughs> all back quite so far. Yeah, because now you can't charge him. You can advance on doing it. I can, but it's not going to do me anything. But you get to sit on it. And you do steal it. Get on it. I mean, you control that objective, you I, get the point. Oh, you're already on I've, it. I'm already on it. And Fair. there's nowhere he Oop. Jesus Christ. There's Paul nowhere Taylor. he can go that's going to matter. You just want to quit the game concede I win? Uh, no. Why not? That would be foolish. Um, that would be absolutely accurate. I would do it. Ah, Cornboy over here. He can get into the party. I think you already tried to do that, Tyler. <laughs> I actually did. I wanted to talk this out. <laughs> I mean, I'm going to talk it out on my turn. And that's fine. Because um, I'm probably going to have almost nothing left. Maybe those. Oh, yeah. you got to do something about them. Hey, I'm a gambler. We're going to try to smite him to death. I do get that CP at the start of the turn. Attaboy. Uh, Roll dub once and kill yourself. <laughs> and then kill me. <laughs> End of the movement phase. He's going to heal the tank again. Three wounds. Get up to 13 wounds. Um... Psychic phase. We'll start over here with Smite. Dub one. Dub one. Dub. <laughs> kind of rude, Tyler. Dub one. Rude. Dub ones. Dub ones. Aw. Oh. Oh, it's a super, super smite. smite. Polar opposite. All right, go for it. D6. Roll A1. <laughs> yes! Reroll that, bitch. Uh, all right. <laughs> Well, I only got to get one wound there through. Uh, get that joy, boy over get there, that joy where smite. he can. Goes off of the nine. I mean, I, hold on, I can try to deny. You can try. If you don't, you're taking three mortal wounds. Well, he's taking three. Yep. That ain't quite enough to kill him. <coughs> but there's a chance. There's always a chance. <laughs> there's always a chance, brother. All right. Um, you going to overcharge your plasma pistol because it's funny? He doesn't have a plasma pistol. That's a psyker. So he's gonna run in there and try to punch him to death or beat him to death with his book. Um, you gonna uh, library my ass? All right, uh, he's just library. gonna dump everything into those boys. All right, because that's the only valid target. Uh, Tommy Bolter on threes. Both hit. One wound. Take that damage. <laughs> Flamer. Six shots. Uh, go ahead and take two more, three more saves. Is that how that no. Is that? It's just a regular flamer. Okay, there was three saves. Oh, three? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Uh, heavy bolters. How are they? Uh, one. Neg one. I'll just go over there when you're done. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm going over blocker. there. <laughs> Five shots. On fives. Yup. Nothing. Alright, nothing from that. 
Oh yes. And One last is. but not least, the last cannons. Last but no least. Okay, well, right? Sounds good. Okay, bitch. Oops. That's what you get as karma for rolling bad dice. So two. Uh, looks like two. One save, roll damage, has two wounds left, don't roll a one. You, you got two wounds? Too many, like, he's just dead. Oh, yeah, that's true, he's just dead. Does oh. he explode? Uh, nope, because it has to be within three inches. Well, well there's a blight hauler down. <clears throat> yeah, I should have moved those possessed over. I could have just got a failed morale check, possibly. That would have been pretty funny. Um. Okay, that's it for shooting. On to the charge phase. Land Raider's going to charge into the... It might be able to fail anyway, just because they're within range of the Demonettes and the Land Raider. Right, so there's minus three. <coughs> the Blight Haulers, they can't fail. They just can't fail? Nope, they're not allowed. No, I was like, straight up, not yeah, in line. No, they I can't fail. Don't doubt you with all your <laughs> ridiculous rules. About uh, I'm, I'm overwatching. You are? Yep, I would. Cool story. Cracks. Cool story. Why are you rolling two? You only have one mile uh, I don't fucking know. Everything's fucked up. Just anyway. let him go. <laughs> it's whatever. I don't even care. I wasn't going to do it, but who cares? Charge range. I forgot. You made it. Five inches. So, yeah. But but a three will make it. Yeah. No, he rolled a seven. <clears throat> oh, gotcha. All right. Uh, I could have absolutely just, like, subtract all the attacks. Oh, boy, here's charging him. Made it. Seven inches. Made it. Blight Holder for the win, question mark, question mark, question mark. Uh, Demonette's gonna try to charge it. You did it. Okay. Hey, you know what's cool about Demonette's making a 12-inch charge? They can go around and they can touch the objective? They sure can. That's hot. You're hot. Did not... You know, happy little accidents. Um... Standard bearer. Like, That's uh, what my mom says to me. That you were a happy little accident? Yeah. <laughs> Not really, actually. She don't really even say that. She doesn't even talk to me. Not really. <coughs> yeah, uh, let's... You, you don't ignore leadership. You ignore combat attrition mods. Oh, gotcha. Okay. That's probably not going to matter here in a minute. Uh, we'll have the possessed try to charge him. Mm, I don't think they're gonna make it to the party. Cool, not quite. Yeah, get the fuck out of here. Reroll that charge. Oh. Uh, corn boy, charging your boy there. <coughs> Jesus. Yeah, you definitely needed to make that. He's uh. This is the one I needed. So right. the, the psyker's gonna charge your boy over there. No. This is the way. <laughs> <clears throat> Seven inches probably won't do it. Yeah, I you probably, need, like probably eight. need an eight. Nine, actually. Eh, that's a long eight. Eight, eight wood. Because he can move through eight the terrain. Eight wood, got it. Well, if you had wood, that'd be better. You could hit him with your stick. Mm hmm. That doesn't make any sense. I thought the sword was supposed to be an extension of yourself. And it's not... a book. <laughs> oh. Your book's an extension. Because I didn't get the <laughs> Chaos Space Marine from the. Fancy the box. Yeah. The kill team box. Kill team box. I don't get that. All right. Uh, I sure guess. You can find one. You we'll can. move on to the fight phase. Uh, I'm going to start with the corn boy over here, swinging into your lone dude with his demon blade. Your don't lewd. Um, strength five now. Yeah. I'm T5. Yeah. Well, I only need fours to win. Yeah, they're basically berserkers, but not berserkers. Well, it doesn't help whenever I miss most of my attacks. Yeah, because you suck. Hey, how about you take a mortal wound on top of it? Alright, he's dead. Yeah. Yeah, he was. Yeah, he still sucked, though. <laughs> Leadership. He actually had a fight of the new damage. It. Yeah, because you suck. But that's okay. We got him out of the way. You know. Okay. Uh, the tank's gonna swing. Yeah. Um, it's got six attacks. No, it's it don't. hitting on sixes, because Disco Dave's on the other side of the field. It has 14 attacks. It might. We'll see how many attacks we pop through. <laughs> Two hits. I uh, got two hits. These are strength eight, by the by. So you're wounding so on twos. Twos? You're plus one to wound right now, buddy. What's the leadership on that thing? Something, something. It's like eight or seven or something like that. Probably eight. It is eight, but you got the demonettes and the land raider, right? So it's minus three, which will drop to five. five. So yeah. looking for twos to 
Land Raider for two wounds. <laughs> Bonk. I like that they're one damage. Like, that should, should be, like, two or three. Mm-hmm. Like, I mean, I'm trying to run something over <laughs> with a tank. Well, and that's that's kind of where I'm at, is, like... I get why vehicles hit on sixes. I'm, I'm about it. Yeah. But they should do like two or three damage if they go through. Depending on the size of the... <laughs> right. I would say depending on the wound characteristic. Wound characteristic. Of the that, that seems reasonable. Because you're yeah. effectively running someone over. That's or or like, like even... You could even base it off the wounds and or save characteristic. Right? Demon that's going to fight. Because like a more heavily armored vehicle would have more mass behind it. Right. Well, and some of the tanks have those fancy treads. Uh, the, on those are like the the big ones, yeah. like the, the orc Spartan. kill tank, which is hilarious because mm -hmm. it hits on fours in melee, and it's like strength nine, neg one, two damage or three damage. Like the thing is bonkers. Is this the demonettes? Yeah. Being on threes or fours? Threes. Fours. Oh shoot! Forgot about that. Good thing it didn't matter for the land raider. No. <laughs> Usually don't. Go ahead and take uh, one more. Neg one. Or neg two. Okay. I could do that also. Uh, All right. Warpsmith. Warpsmith. Mechadendrites on threes. Cool. Five hits. Mm. Uh, looking for fours to wound. All right. So you take one. <laughs> All right, has Mecha Dendrite. Seven. They make me so happy. Did it actually kill Morty? Six attacks or five attacks? Uh, I think so. I think it was from the it got some... word. No, it got that character over there just from the Mecha Dendrites. Gotcha. But yeah. that was when his wounds of six did immortal too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's got five attacks, not six attacks. <laughs> well, let's make it twenty attacks. Ten attacks. Yeah. Would be helpful. Here. Not even close. All right, so we picked up one. Yeah, you, you just minus one. Get one. Uh, strength six, so still four is the wound. Fives. Fives. They're T seven. Yeah, T seven. I'm plus one. To plus wound. one to wound. You right? You right? <laughs> I'm on it this time. Yeah, we're doing it. Okay, just take one leg two. Or would have been two damage. We tried. She's got six left. Yep. You do win it. You do win it. That boy. You do win it. Well. Yep. Hit you with my axe. One explode. On threes. There it is. Three? Yep. Three saves. Three saves. Come on, get two. That's all I want. Yes. Two do go through, and there's nothing I can do about it. I got another assassinate. You sure did. And I even control the objective. No, you don't. No, you don't. Aww. He's got the demonettes on it now. They're, they're going to die here in a minute. Mm hmm Go ahead and make your attack. What a consolidate for this. <laughs> Not today. Yeah, I can. I went second, so I probably can. you have four attacks? Yeah, that's enough. Well, something. I mean, I can also explode. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, with what? I have no attacks left to go into you. <laughs> I know. Anyway. Three hits. Zero ones because it's a plague weapon. Oh. Uh, these are run demonets, by the way. Yeah. Two five up. How about you don't? <laughs> Fair point. You don't he, touch, he warned you. You don't touch my lady. He warned you. I mean, I did. I, I All right, that's going to do it for my turn. Yeah. Um, I didn't pick up anything extra uh, you'll get the f no yeah you control one and both of yours so you'll oh get yeah four yeah i do there. get that one there look at you you did big brain play without even knowing it and then or was it all part of your plan no <laughs> I, I don't come in here with valid plans <laughs> that's me either all right uh, uh and then you're gonna get three more for banners because he can't knock your banners off right uh um, George Nelson lifts open his coat and he's strapped with dynamite. I'm going to go ahead and move. Here's my plan. <laughs> cows. I hate cows. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and smite. Because I have nothing else I can do anything. So let's go ahead and kill that dude. Uh, oh, yes. Let's do that. I'm going to CP roll that. Yeah. There's no point of even. Big old fat perils. Uh, so I did my CP for the turn. 
Uh, six. Would you like to deny? Of course. He's gonna try to defend himself. No, he won't. Uh, uh eleven. He shuts you down with okay. eleven. Um, so that's it for him. I'll try to do plague wind. You can come Screw over it. and charge me, plague bro. Plague wind. <laughs> oh yeah, you get your. I got a six again. Plague wind. Well, I got no denies in range. Yeah, that was my last sniper. One, two mortal wounds. Two mortal wounds. No, no mortal wounds. Yeah, because you didn't roll high enough to make yeah. it. Yep. Have to get a six. Neat. Yep. Um, He's standing there in your nasty cool. wind. <laughs> cool beans. He's uh, got a little mask on, though. So everything okay. going there except for the Havoc launchers. and Well, except for the um, assault thingamajiggers from that. But I'm going to go and shoot everything else from there. Okay. Because they're blast, but he gets to shoot them in engagement. That's convenient. I wish my Wraith Guard were allowed to shoot blast weapons well, in engagement like their data sheet says they can. Well, that sounds like a personal problem. It is. Anyway, 2d3 shots. But you, you shot. can't oh, just fall back and shoot. 1d3 shots. Them. Okay, 3 shots. I get it, but it's one of those where they're still pretty good. 3s, cool beans. Now that they're 250 points for 5-man team instead of... Uh, Melta. Or no. All hit. 450 for a... Ten man. No, I think it's now 500 for a 10 man squad of B side. Correct. Which makes it one of the most expensive units in my army? Uh, one, neg two on your land raider. On the land raider, four up? Oh no. Uh, damage? Three. Okay, so it wasn't 13, now it's down to 10. Yeah. Isn't it strength eight, neg two, D6? Hold a five. Oh. So charging. Demon X. Shooting this demon X? I can't see him. Oh, alright. Yeah. Or would. Or shot the demon X, I will. Oh, yeah. sweet. Okay, I missed that yeah. completely. What's charging? Uh that one dude. So he's there, I'm not even gonna move him, there's no point. Mm-hmm. Um, four attacks. All hit, one explosion. It's been average, that's cool. Um choose the wound. Yep. Five, five wounds. wounds. Make all of them. I would laugh. I've been there. I make one of yes! them. Yes! That will wipe the squad. <laughs> eat shit. Die. Is that pretty much it there? Yeah, I can't do anything so else. So you, I mean, you get your eight points on primaries. Land Raider swinging with its six Eight attacks. points on primaries. Hey, you need to roll leadership for that blight hauler, actually. You're good. Yeah. Okay. And it's one of those where don't even pull it at this point, but it would affect, like, his victory points totals. Uh, 46. Warp Smith. Academic 54. Uh, in this terrain, yeah, six. there's six total. Two, neg two. Okay, just one damage. Neg two? Yeah. Oh, take two, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. and I think that's it. Uh, I already factored out your no... Are those yours too, Austin? These How guys? many guys are in there? Five man team. So ten more, so he loses one point there. Good game, man. I don't even know the score. I don't uh, either, but it was fun. You did real good. Night Lord's 93, Death Guard 60. I'll I got 93? Yeah. So the Seed Reaper Spear didn't pay out, did it? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, so it was your main one. Uh, so the Seed Reap the Fear, you got 13 points on banners, uh, and you got... Uh, I have to go through and re-add them, but basically you got around 12 on Sow the seed, reap the fear. Okay. Uh, because of your leadership debuffs and every every unit of pox walkers that you killed, it was just a free victory point. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, I had forgotten about that. But he didn't fall back. He didn't fail in action, and I right. only. He didn't fail any leaderships either. No. But every time you killed things, yeah, you were picking up almost every single that. one of those. You were. So uh, again, thanks everybody for watching. I hope you had a good time. I will be posting next week's matchup as soon as I can, and I will be doing some YouTube videos regarding some of the events that we got coming up. 
And then I'll be doing a YouTube giveaway here pretty soon, too. So look for details on that. And I will see all of you next week and some of you tomorrow. Have a good day.